Peace, 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 my fellow PFGs. What's good? It's your man Sixfo in the building, and you already know what it is. Today, we are getting to the Sunday morning drive, but it's a special event today for two reasons. Of course, you know we talk a lot about what's been going on in gaming during this here venue or event or session, whatever you want to call it. We get to talking, you know what I'm saying? The real G's come out, the PFG's come out, and we speak on things. And there's a lot to talk about today. Well, one thing is specifically, and that's the state of Stadia. What the fuck were they thinking with this move they made seems to be the question. And where the hell are they going with this shit seems to be the following question. We're going to get right into that. And also with this Sunday drive, we get into special events, special vehicle types, special special make, model types, whatever, you know, whatever the hell I'm feeling like, you know what I'm saying? And by request, per request of one of the PFGs that we got actually meeting in the crew too during a live session, Max Tab, shout out to Max Tab. We have the JDM Legends. JDM Legends, that stands for Japanese Domestic Market, for those who don't know. So we'll be focusing in during the races on Japanese racing vehicles, you know what I'm saying? We will be getting into street races and something that we haven't done in a long time, which is long overdue. We will be definitely getting into those drift races. We can't really call those races because I mean, there's no first or second place on the land or the distance you are from another person, but the amount of points that you collect. So we'll be doing some drifting today. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about that. It's been a long time. We're going to have some fun, y'all. So without further ado, let me get into it. I think we got somebody in the chat already. If I'm not mistaken, the brother Demaclus is already here and ready to go. For those of you who are regulars, you already know you got the pre-invitation, so don't wait too long to go ahead and accept that invitation into the party. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about to go down. You already know who you are. You know what I'm saying? So let me get my party chat mic up there real quick. I think Demaclus in. Demaclus, you in, brother? What is going on? The PFG is here. That's what I'm talking about, bro. How you doing, famo? You good this morning? Doing good, man. Can't complain. How everybody else doing? She How you doing? Man, I'm all right. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for waking up and having another day to take a shot at this thing we like to call life. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> That's good, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. I'm good. You ready to get into this conversation, brother? Let's get at it, man. Yeah, you, uh, better yet, you ready to get in these uh, JDMs? Yes, yes. Let's yeah? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's <laughs> actually look it through it right now. Make sure that uh, I got the not on highlighted so I can make sure I, I you know, I'm picking the wrong cards and all like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you saying street racing, right? Yeah, so we're going to be doing street racing and we're going to be doing drifting as well in Japanese vehicles. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the tune I got in the uh, in the thumbnail for the video. It's a drift vehicle. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh huh. Chris, yo, PFG. Chris, what's good? What is going on, man? Bad. Oh, it's good. It's good. That's what's up. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good, man. Yeah, uh, good and um, man. <laughs> for sure. No, I hear you, man. I hear you. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, give me one second, one second, I'll be right back, and I'm going to shout out the uh, the PFGs in the chat. For sure. Good, man. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go get into how we feel about that. Yeah. The blog post, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I have a few things to say about it, but, you know. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I heard some of your points from from MMs and uh, Project Storms broadcast. That was you, right? Yeah, that was me. Because they were they were saying D Mac. I'm like, yeah, that was D Mac. <laughs> oh, I mean, you got a nickname over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Already, already. So let me go ahead and give a shout out to the uh, PFGs who are already in the chat. We got G Millie with the first. Okay, I see you, G Millie, with the first. How you doing, PFG? Of course, Chris came in early, too. I see you, brother. I see you. We got Dre in the building. Talking about have a nice Sunday, guys. Mine is almost over. Oh, Dang. Man. You know what time it is over there. Diane. Yeah. 
Shout out to Dre. Good to see you, PFG. We got Victor in the building. What's good, PFG? How you doing? He say, yo, what's, what's good with you, fam? What's good? We got Deshaun Bush in the building. What's good, Deshaun? How you doing? Glad to have you on last night during the Roco stream. Brother left us hanging, but it's all good. It's water to the bridge. I'm going to leave you alone about that one. I'm going to leave you alone about that one, fam. You know what I'm saying? And then we got Ray in the building, a.k.a. Roy Flawless, brother. What's good with you, PFG? How you doing? And you know you got the pre-invite. So if you want to get into this topic of conversation, man, jump on right now. Get your mic set up hot and ready because we're about to get into it, man. We're not going to waste too much time. You know, so get your vehicles out. Make sure you got your stream connect on because we're going to run the city real quick, warm these tires and get into the conversation all right sure. all right that's what's up let's go ahead and do this real quick already you say you said japanese cars right yes yes, yes we're doing okay, japanese let me, let me and we'll check what i have yeah i got sure. yeah, that's what i'm doing right uh-huh see y'all had a whole week now <laughs> mm -hmm. A whole week of game. I, I don't want to hear no excuses. <laughs> I don't want to hear no I excuses. Know, I, I have an excuse, a good one to it. I've been crying in the corner a whole week. So I've been busy, man. He's <laughs> nah, been crying in the corner all week. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Cherry, man, what's good, PFG? Yo, we about to get into this conversation, brother. We about to get into it. Let these brothers get it together. Today, they intimidated. They shook. They scared. Some of them sad and in sad boy mode right now, you know? Sad I hope we ain't got no though. soy boy going on right now. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no I soy got, boy. I, got a, I don't know. I got a glass of water and I'm chilling now. Hey, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about, baby. Straight up. All right, cool. Yeah, the Magnus still ain't put his cam on. He's scared, man. He don't want to show nothing. He don't want to show nothing. Intimidating. Look at him. He don't want to show nothing. I ain't hiding nothing. Nah, man. There you go right there. Oh, I was about to knock it off. There you go. Oh, you got the Michael Jackson jacket on, I see. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got to bring the red leather out to match with the whip. You know what I'm saying? That's how we doing. Nice. I even got the Thriller face on, too. Look at my face. Thriller face in there. <laughs> That's nice. I like the dash. <laughs> That's cool. Haven't got the invite yet, by the way. Should I just... All right. Are you in the game? Join you? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, I could... I, you know what? I, I sent you the request. Okay. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. I, I see you. I'm going to shoot you an invite now. All right. Show. All right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ray said uh, he'd be on in a minute. Okay, for sure. Uh, good, good, yeah, good. Check his guys. Let me grab something. Over here. <clears throat> for sure. Right. Oh, let me go ahead and turn the volume up a little bit on these vehicles. Just a little bit. All right, yeah, Roy yeah. in the building. What's yeah, good, so PFG? Yeah, Roy. Good. Good. That's what's up. You ready, huh? Oh, I'm ready. I'm I know you've been getting your cars, cars ready. I already uh -huh. know. Uh -huh. For sure. <laughs> These guys are slacking. Yeah, you hear him over here? <laughs> you hear him over here. Let's get it here. Okay. Right, I think we should be good with that. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit here. I'm going to try out some of these vehicles. Let's see. Hey. Hey, I got to reset it. I gotta put it on 1080p. Uh, okay. All oh, right, right. Let's not forget that. Yeah. All right. Where are you in? Okay, I see you. I'm um, in the game. Yeah. Hey, All right. what's going on, Roy? How you doing? Pretty good, man. How about yourself? Doing good, man. Doing good. Glad to hear it. Right. Anybody else uh, getting absolutely pummeled with this snow? No. Oh no, man! I'm getting hit with rain over here, man. But yeah, kiss. I'm, I'm uh, looking at that. Jeez. I'm buried. I'm absolutely buried out here. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't get that much snow, but I feel you on, on that one. That's yeah. tough. KW Magnus, what's good, PFG? Good to see you. Thank you, baby.
Yeah, good to see. We about to get to some topics right quick, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, we got to get these PFGs set and ready to go. Everybody setting up their situation. And Roy, make sure to share your screen. I see over there trying to hide your little secret magic and stuff. Nah, Ain't never, nobody scared, never, bro. Never. Go ahead and put that shit on. Never. I'll you know show what I'm saying? You. Yeah, go ahead and show <laughs> it, man. Yeah. 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 Ain't nobody yeah. shook. You know what I'm saying? I little no S2000 video. and shit like they're doing yeah, something. Yeah, Ain't doing definitely. nothing, bro. Oh, Ain't nobody no, worried about that little S2000? Oh, come on now. <laughs> you know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty. I ain't gonna friend. I love the way the damn car look. Yeah, and run, you know what I'm saying. You're gonna get plenty of time looking at the back end. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Only time I'll be seeing that is when I'm looking at your stream connect, boo. What you talking about, boy? I ain't talking about nothing. I ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> oh, okay. Fight starts. <laughs> Demaglis, you in the game? Yeah, I just jumped in the game. I had to set it at 1080p. Okay. So it won't mess up on us. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We'll need to go ahead and re invite you. Oh, I don't see you yet. We about to get started, chat. We about to get started. Oh, okay. Uh Magnus said it's snowing in Norway. Wow. Well I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Norway. It's, it's he said yeah. it's snowed in. Damn. Hey, you know what? As long as you don't get those slushy snow, you're good. Uh it's Dre said snow. all yeah, year or no? <laughs> Uh. Hmm. You good? Okay. Yep. Nah, I still don't see. You. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot the invite through the chat. Okay. That way you can get it that way. You see it? There you yes. go. For sure. Right. I got another invite. I don't need to to do yeah, 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 yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Disregard that one, yeah. I, I see with the little Yismo, you know what I'm saying? I think you're doing something, Chris. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you put a little cosmetic on like it's going to make it faster. It ain't going to do shit for you, bro. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to do shit for you. I got to intimidate. I got to intimidate. I'm not going to put any stock stuff in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, you know. you know we should all be afraid of Chris because you know how he do. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's gonna try to get his W by any means necessary. Yeah, I, I gotta increase that, you know, bump power. <laughs> yeah. That's not all the stats I need. Yeah, yeah, straight tank. You know what I'm saying? Straight tank. All right, so we're gonna warm the tires up. We're gonna hit the city and just drive around. We're gonna get into this here topic. First things first, this is what the people wanna know, this is what people wanna see. You know what I'm saying? So we recently heard the news, right? Mm -hmm. Stadia Games and Entertainment has been shut down. Google has gotten rid of their first party game development studios. They said their primary focus now is third party developers relationships. And first and foremost, I should add, building the platform stadia as a cloud gaming platform itself that is their primary focus oh this is a drifting vehicle let me change this shit real quick now roy i want you to start first hmm. what are your thoughts on that move on their decision to do that yeah i mean the initial gut reaction is this is the beginning of the end Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's my initial thought i can't yeah. say that for sure but you know the way that they brought it up the way that they released that statement super abrupt no mm -hmm. like good information around it at all um and, and the way that they the way that they talked about it they're like making games is really expensive and everybody that reads that is like yeah we know that mm -hmm. <laughs> you should have known that Mm -hmm. Like, it just feels like poor planning. Um, it's not a good look at all. Mm -hmm. um, but I but I also don't think it's 100% definitely the end of Stadia. You know, it, 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 it's not a good sign. We'd be better off if they hadn't done that. But potentially, they just put more money into getting third-party games, and we get more, more stuff on Stadia, maybe. But initial reaction is, that sucks. You, you should have known it was going to cost a lot of money. Mm. Um, and it's just, you know, it's it's not good. I'm not happy about it. Okay. 
so do you honestly think uh, yourself, you said the initial reaction was it's over. Do you th well, still feel that way now? How do you feel about the platform as an end user? Are you still going to invest into it? Are you, you kind of shaky? Yeah. Where are you at on it? That's the question. That's the mm -hmm. question, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it. I think it's not a good look. Mm -hmm. I, I think you know, as an end user, Stadia still is dope. You know, it's still really good. I still mm -hmm. have a good time playing games. That that's not changing, but you know, it's it's Google putting a little bit less. You know having me trust them a little bit less. Okay. Um, so will I still put money into it? I mean, I barely put that much money into it already. You know, I probably only bought maybe three or four games. Most of the mm. games I play are the free games anyway. Um, okay. I mean, I'll still play, I'll still pay for pro. You know, I'm not gonna stop doing that. I'll, I'll do that until they get rid of it. Okay. But um, yeah, definitely losing a bit of uh, confidence with this All one. All right, my last question. Why did you get into Stadia in the first place? What made you mm -hmm. really want to play the platform? Why did you even care about it with all the options that already exist? Yeah, well, I mean, at the time that I jumped in, I had kind of, the last console that I had was a 360. I completely mm -hmm. skipped the, the PS4, um, Xbox One generation. Because I was in school, I didn't really have the time for that. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I was getting ready to get back into gaming more seriously you know take more time to do that and i hear about stadia and i'm like mm. that would be sick that sounds super dope i don't have to buy a console that's you know three or five hundred dollars i don't mm. have to worry about getting a, a, a nice gaming pc because i don't have crap i got a i got a you know five-year-old laptop mm. um i'm like all right screw it let's let's check it out okay for sure for sure for sure i appreciate that now chris same questions. So, you know about the news. What's your initial thoughts on the news? How did it make you feel? Well, of course, like everyone else, you know, it feel a little bit dead inside. But <laughs> oh <my laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know, the first part is what makes a platform really different from from other platforms, right? Like mm. it exclusives. So I'm like, oh damn, like first part the games are the ones that are pushing the, the features, you know, the, the, the stuff that we're touting about cloud gaming. And then, you know, I thought about like, oh damn, what, what, what does it mean for Stadia? Because the way they word it, it seems very ominous, right? And, and I understand why you would, you would really think that. And then, when I read through the the blog post, it, it's very clear that that they just want this studio done, but it doesn't mean that they will be stopping the exclusives from coming in. I mean, we've never had one exclusives uh, exclusive title yet, so mm -hmm. it's more of the the sadness for the future of the stadia as you know this cloud exclusive platform but yeah it's just it's just sad news uh, either way and my only fear now is that you know people would would be less confident just like how roy was feeling about it and and i i see people saying oh I, i'm not gonna buy games for stadia until they sort this out but I feel like there's no difference with what they're doing now with everything that's happening it's just the, that that assurance that okay this will go on for a while but at the end of the day they said the word sustainable business so if it means that stadia will be staying long term because they're making money with how they are doing right now then you know what as much as uh, i'm sad about it I, I think it's the right move at the end of the day and um, i don't i don't register to that notion that it's going to be dead within two years i mean this move is is probably the saving grace of stadia there's no guarantee that their first party party title will save the 
platform mm. based on the, the evidence. So, okay. uh, I'm feeling really good right now about their decision. It's just, mm. you know, it's sad for the people that lost their jobs in the process. Um, oh, that's well, my I'll, 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 I'll say this. Um, they didn't say people lost their jobs. They actually moved them around in, this, in the uh, company. Yeah, but do you people. think that uh, some of them uh, won't be booted out? Maybe, I'm, I'm maybe sure, most. I'm sure uh, yeah, I mean, some, some of them. But yeah, you're right yeah, though. Yeah, like yeah, some yeah. of them will be just shuffled, be shuffled. Probably yeah. it's even better for some people because right. now they're a Google employee. Like, not just their gaming division; they're part of Google itself. But mm. we don't. We will never know that, right? Like, yeah. These are internal stuff. I mean, as far as we know, at, yeah, exactly. At this point. That's what they said they were going to do. Nobody's come out and said, I've been fired, you know, from the studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate Google, you know. Um, so, I yeah, mean, that's my... all we can really go off of. We can assume, but that's that's the official statement. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I'm not going to be surprised if a lot of them are staying because my company does that a lot. Like, they mm -hmm. take out a department because maybe they were able to, to automate it. And then they just shuffle people around. That's why... That's why they cross kill people. They want you to right. know more than just one thing. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Google has the same approach. Right. So what's, let me ask you this as well. What was your reason uh, initially for getting into Stadia? Like, why did you see Stadia as a viable uh, platform to play your games, purchase your games on, and become a primary platform? Convenience, uh, right. access to your games, whatever device you already have, mm -hmm. and that hasn't changed um, right now after reading that okay there won't be any exclusives but it's not like they're stopping and this it might even mean more third-party games which I would really prefer <laughs> so it works out for me but I don't know for other people but it, there, there's no change for me it's still my main platform and if, I, if there are other games that that is not on this platform. I can play it on on those other, you know, means. The only right. thing is that you know, uh, it's not as easy to get into. But you know, GFN. I like GFN. Mm. Luna. I don't know when the hell they're coming to Canada. But being open to those other platform is is good for me as well. But yeah, Stadia will still be my main because okay. of the convenience. It's not, it's not, it hasn't changed anything. It's not like, oh, we, we're taking out all your access to this devices. <laughs> that never happened. It's still the same Stadia as before. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to talk a little bit now because I know, I know myself and I know Demaculus, you know, we tend to have, we tend to be long winded. We have a lot to say. <laughs> I'm going to, I just want to put this out there, give my brother Demaculus an opportunity to speak. And then I'll just, you know, wrap it up on that. Cause I'm pretty sure, you know, um, it'd be, it'd be well spoken on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so again, what you guys have just said, as far as your reason for getting into Stadia is pretty much the reason everyone got into stadia it was the technology the convenience the cost uh savings and uh it had nothing to do with exclusives nobody was looking at stadia as exclusives now i'm i was a big proponent and i still am uh, a person who stands behind the idea that exclusives are very important they are uh what separates uh platforms you know separates companies from other companies showing their identity you know what kind of games they make what kind of culture they want to create and things of that nature. I still believe that. Um, but again, nobody got into this platform for their exclusives. Nobody really, really cared. We talked about the concept. We looked at the future and what it could bring for an exclusive built around uh, uh, cloud gaming from the ground up. Still excited about that idea. It's still something that's very possible uh, with Stadia working with the people who know how to make games and supporting them with their new technology and getting right behind their technology, you know, and saying, hey, we know exactly how this works. Let's give you the tools and give you the support you need to build the games that we would like to see exclusive to our platform. But let me get away from that and say this. This is another thing that we got to consider when we look at Stadia. This is an entirely new way to get into games. It's kind of like um, we, we use Netflix a lot when we talked about Stadia in the beginning, early times and even Steam. 
But let me focus on Netflix more specifically in, in this uh, example I'm trying to uh, place here. Um, when Netflix initially came out, people were like, it's bull, nobody cares, we got, we got blockbusters, we have physical content, that is where it's at. So the uphill battle for Netflix was not to have their own exclusive blockbuster films, it was to be considered a serious place to enjoy your, uh, your, your passive media, right? That was their first uphill battle. That was their most important battle. Now imagine if Netflix tried to make their own original movies with the limited budget that was gonna be focused on them. Regardless of how much money that company has, the amount of money that would be put towards making exclusive films at the time would have been minuscule. And we really wouldn't, we would have laughed at them. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Of course there would have been a core audience to say, hey man, those, those are some decent movies. But nobody took the platform serious. Now the platform is a household name. Okay, if, you, if you're talking about watching any movies, streaming any kind of uh, TV show, the first thing that comes to anybody's mind is what? Netflix. Netflix. Now, when Netflix puts out an exclusive Netflix show or movie, it gets people's attention. The eyes, eyebrows raised, their ears perk up. Huh, what? You said what? Wait, on Netflix? Oh, shit, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to check that out because they're validated. This is the most important thing for Google right now as a platform is to be considered valid in this space. The top premier cream of the crop cloud gaming platform. If they do not have that, you can keep your first party exclusive. Nobody gives a shit because nobody gives a shit about you. What we want to see is what we already want. And everybody talks about the OK, let's let's put it this way. If you look at a lot of people saying the reason they really wanted to play Stadia if for the for the game that they wanted to play, one of the big ones was Cyberpunk. And it shows, the results show that. Man, when I heard Cyberpunk was coming to Stadia, I was like, oh, what? I can play that on the cloud. I don't have to buy this. A little, oh, blah, 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 blah. That was everything everybody talked about. Right. Now, Stadia's dead. I'm not going to buy any more games because they don't have exclusives. They never had exclusives. No first party in-house developed exclusives. That actually didn't, when Stadia actually came out, they didn't have any exclusives in mind. They actually had the studio, well, it was already being built and they were working it out, but then we started hearing about, okay, they're getting, they're still starting to acquire teams, everybody's working on this, there's something that they're actually working on. It's like, oh, okay. But the real concept and idea was getting cloud, or getting games running smoothly, proficiently, high resolution, high frame rates, high fidelity experience on the cloud. Is that not right? That's correct. Yeah. When everybody talked about it, the idea of an exclusive was just an idea. It was just a concept, what we could potentially do. But what we are really focused on is bringing this experience to a billion users. Let me tell you something right now. And it can, it can be shown, to, and there's only one exception in this rule. And it, when it comes to exclusives, PlayStation 4 sold 100 plus million consoles. You probably will. How many times has Sony broken at least 10 million games from their exclusive library? So, and we're talking about at the, the regular asking price, not when they drop the game down to free with the console or free with the membership or $20. I'm talking about a $60 premium price. Have they ever done that? What games sell big numbers on the PlayStation platform? God of War. I'm saying, uh, what games? Aside from, okay, how many game, how many uh, copies has that game sold so far? I don't think it's sold as many copies of COD. Right, there you go. You see my point. Right. If Google wants to focus on reaching a billion players, they definitely ain't going to do it with their exclusives right now. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do it with these third-party games. And if they want to show something that makes them exclusive, just like with Netflix, well, what makes this exclusive is if you can stream, you know, you got this uh, curated library, you can go through, blah, 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 whatever. You can't do that at Blockbuster. You have to walk the aisles. With Google, you not only have the game running, but you can do things like Stream Connect. You can do things like Crowd Play. You can do things like Crowd Choice. You can stream the game directly from the platform, blah, 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 all this stuff that they have exclusive to their platform. As you've seen, we've had a few troubles on the platform with these third party games. If these are the games that everybody's going for and you want these exclusive features on these games, you need to drive all your support in that direction. I mean, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 
to make him stand out. Look at how well um, Division Two stood out. In my opinion, I mean that's that's the that's the best place to play the game. That's the uh, yeah. What, what do you call that? The uh, God the, dang. Uh, Defi the, 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 uh, definitive edition definitive, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, right, it's the definitive right. edition. I mean, I could play it on PC, max frames, and all. That's great. But to have that stream connect, you know what I mean? You don't have to do any installs, and it plays buttery smooth, crisp, high high uh, fidelity. Bro, that's that's amazing. That's an exclusive feature. Can't get anywhere else. I don't want to play Division 2 anywhere else. Right. They need to have that with their third-party games. You know, that kind of uh, exclusive feature set. And if these guys don't know what they're doing and you're just focused on your own games that nobody cares about right now, you're losing, in my opinion. But I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop talking and uh, give the floor to you, Demaclis. You know the question, so you go ahead and run it down uh, in that order. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I wanted to say uh, what's up because I, I seen the chat. A few of them said what's up. Squids and, and uh, a few of Shout out to Squids. Guys in the chat. Yeah, man, it's good, out PFG. Out. What's happening? Um, man. Everything you said, six, uh, you know, Roy and Chris, it's all valid. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's all valid. Now I know this this narrative is a bit sinister. So what I what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of pull it back because um I think everybody settled in and got the news. I'll tell you what my first reaction was when I heard. It. Mm -hmm. So my first reaction was like everybody else is not as extreme, but it was like everybody else is like wow, like mm -hmm. oh, well this is coming out of left field. I did not expect this. Now that's how I, I reacted to it when I read the headline. Right. When I actually opened up and read the article, then that's when right. things started to change. Yep, yep. And I was like, okay, so this makes sense. I understand what they're trying to do. I understand it. And, and six, you know about it. Yeah. Like, okay, we understand where they're coming from. Um, media kind of have a short memory when it comes to trying to create a narrative. Right. I'm gonna pull us way, way back, okay? The Xbox era, when the Xbox 360 was dominated, in the year, and when they when they came out with their next Xbox console, in the year 2014, they closed down Xbox Entertainment Studios. No, they, they didn't. Closed it, they closed it down. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they closed it down in October 2014 because they wanted to focus more on third party, and up uh, third party development. Um, at that time, when they closed it down, uh, there wasn't as much as an uproar in the stadium. So I'm going to pull it to cloud from cloud because this is what right. I'm going to see. Okay. Now I'm going to have to read a few things just so you guys can understand what I'm saying. Um, the first thing I'm going to go to is Amazon. So since Amazon, I'm, I'm hearing is a uh, a word that pops up a lot that's trying to be uh, compared to Stadia because of you know Stadia closing down the studio. Hold on, real quick, real quick. I, I gotta put this out there real quick, bro. How did that how did that do for Microsoft in the 360 era focusing on third party relationships and games being third party exclusive to their platform? It almost it brought Sony to their knees. Oh. <laughs> and say brought, that again, it please, brought, brother. It, it, yeah, it brought Sony to their knees. It did. <laughs> one more time, one more time. It, it, it brought Sony to their knees. Oh, <laughs> but, they, but they closed their first party studio. Wait, wait, that that shit what? Now, here, now here's the thing though here's the thing what? at that time at that time and it's going to roll back into what i'm going to say when i finish it all right but at that time you see the xbox 60 they came out they the kid on the block right right there you go their first console go. that they had was not a successful but they stayed in the game yep and then they focused on locking down third party studios oh my god don't what do happened, it bro oh, the they're, they're in graveyard now yes yeah, yeah sony <laughs> and on the other hand, they struggled, and then they start realizing that that was the way to go. So when the PlayStation 4 came out, they started locking down third-party studios. They sure did. Time exclusives. Exactly. Okay, so that, that's that part. But, but back to what I was saying. Yeah, so let's go to Amazon, because everybody keeps bringing up, oh, when Amazon came out with a report and said, they're going to focus on this, <laughs> yeah. yada, yada, yada. And look at these guys. <laughs> and look, guys, I, I'm not going to badmouth Amazon. It's like Amazon. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not trying to badmouth. Okay? Right. But I'm trying to I'm trying to get a little bit of a better perspective here. Because it seems like we're kind of throwing things out of the whack. Okay. I'm going to read something to you, okay? <clears throat> Amazon game. Now, this article came out the year uh, 2021, January 31st. It was updated February 
The headline goes, Amazon Game Studios report detailed struggles, bro culture, mismanagement, and canceled projects. What? This is what it says. A new extensive report from Bloomberg has detailed some of the dysfunction and struggles at Amazon Game Studio, mm-hmm. which includes canceling projects, a troublesome game engine, mismanagement, and a pro and a bro culture that allegedly mm-hmm. does not give women the same opportunities as men. The report talk begins about by discussing Mike Frizen. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, so I apologize was bought in to start Amazon Game Studios eight years ago without any, without making, ever making a single game. Eight since, years, huh? Eight years. And they're committed, huh? Okay. Exactly. Since since Mike and Amazon Game Studios have released only two games and have seen multiple cancellation projects, canceled projects that were attempting to recreate the financial, now here, I want y'all to hear this, the financial magic of the games like Fortnite, and League of Legends. Now, I'm going to read on from that point. I'm going to to revisit that. Okay. The game tour game, that says the Grand Tour game as the first Amazon Game Studios console release. And within a year, it was removed from the storefronts. Crucible was the next game released from the studios. And not only did it return to the closed beta after its official launch, it was shut down in November November 2020. Sure was. That game was trash. Exactly. Two other projects were known as Intensity and Nova. Never saw the light of day after the teams tried and failed to create games inspired by Fortnite and League of Legends, respectively. Now, I'm going to stop right there. This is what I'm talking about. Careful what you ask for. I know a lot of people want Amazon to be great, but you got to be careful because they want to be like a Fortnite and the League of Legends. And what does Fortnite and the League of Legends have a lot of? Microtransactions. Amazon. They want want that money. Microtransactions. You see, Mm -hmm. the reason why Amazon said, don't worry, we're going to make exclusives. You have to understand, if you're going to make an exclusive, you're looking at that as a income. That's a a revolving income. So Amazon is trying their best to find a way to make you pay them more money for the games you like. Right. That's basically what's going on here. It's not about, oh, we're trying to be a good guy. It's no. about, we're trying to find a way to be another Fortnite or League of Legends. But you're going to pay for that. You're going to give us a membership, and then you're going to pay for the microtransactions, and then you're not going to own the game. You understand? You got to be very careful trying to compare cloud gaming uh, uh, across the board when they're not the same. Now, I'm going to go back to that. Now, that's Amazon. Now, you don't hear anything about that. Notice, this just was updated. But you don't hear anything about this. Okay? Right. Okay. But you hear everything about Google. All right. Here we go. Now, here's the second thing. Sony also, there's a lot of uh, gaming studios that Sony have shut down, even recently. Did you hear anything about that? Huh? Nope. It's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> it's quiet. Yeah, did, 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 I, did, I hear, did I hear a huh? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Come so, on now. It's very uh-huh. interesting how how <laughs> these news comes out. I, I'll just go ahead and just say this right here. Uh, here it goes. Look, and people get mad at me for just being like, oh, I see what's going on, man. It's cool. I respect that. Oh, man, 6-4 is a bullshit, man. You know, God damn it. No, bro, come on. I've seen this before, but go, go ahead. Yeah, so that PlayStation closed its first-party studios. Uh, Manchester VR was, form- was formed in 2015 to specifically work on VR games. It has never released a game and was now become the third UK studio PlayStation is closed in the PlayStation 4 generation. I did, did I hear anything about that? I remember PlayStation trying to do VR, but how come I didn't hear any outcry when they closed their own studios down? Game studios, this is a, this is a, a practice within the industry. This happens. What yep. goes on is you have a you have a dedicated team that has to understand whether you're making money in something or not. And their job is to kill a project before it kills your company. Exactly. I understand that people want exclusives, but I'm going to go back to that. I remember somebody saying that there was a, a loss that Google made in their quarterly uh, earnings and things like that, uh, some type of loss. Once again, it's pulled out of context. I actually listened to the quarterly earnings. I turned it on YouTube, I listened to it, and then I read the quarterly report. They did not make a loss. What ends up happening is when you say a loss, it's coming from operations, right? Everything has an operating cost, okay? Google operating costs increase because they, they're using higher tech, it's going to cost them more money, but at the same time, their profits have increased. 
So, no, they've been profitable ever since they started it. Like I said before, and the last earning call also proved that, once again, they're profitable. Now, that covers that because I, I'm just trying to pull out everything that I've heard over the weekend that has been misinformation. Okay. So, I heard this, that there's no unique experiences on Google, that, that, that no unique experience without a first-party title now. That's why. I heard that, and I watched it on the video. Now, I'm going to have to disagree with that. I'm not going to call any names. I'm just going to say what I disagree with. Um, picture in picture on the Division Two, picture in picture on the Crew Two, which is what you're witnessing right now. Right. Uh, you can't do that on any other platform. And again, as a person okay. who has this shit available on a superior platform PC, I choose to play it here on Stadia because this. This experience right here, what you guys are seeing in the stream right now, this is what makes this game so much more special to me. You know what I mean? Like, this makes it a different game. You know, this is a very important thing. So, yeah, go ahead. So, let it's me not keep a gimmick. Naming, exactly. So, let me keep naming the exclusives that this platform, because it said there's no unique experience without first party. And it's, this is proving it not to be true. Uh, you have picture in picture, what we're doing right now. You have no downloading. Uh, you have no capacity worries. You don't have to worry about uh, memory, which is expensive, okay, when you when you start getting into that field. Uh, just look at what's going on with the Xbox and, and all the memory that's being used up. Um, I can shut my stadia off, go to another room, shut it on, and it'll start right where I left off as long as I do it within, what, 15, 10 minutes, right? I don't, I don't know anywhere right. else I can do that either. Um, I can get 4K through a wire. Uh, I don't know anywhere else I can do that either. That's a switch to the stadium. Um, I can get graphic fidelity that's close to PC without buying the hardware. I don't know anywhere else I can do that. Except for the I don't know anywhere else I can get that close to graphic fidelity. Okay, so so that that's some of the, and I haven't even gone through more of the features, exclusive features just for the platform. The features, the platform is exclusive, rich when it comes to features. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to go to where I've heard that the uh, exclusives is what makes people come to your platform. Now, Six, you and I, we talked about this in the past, and we both believe, we said, yes, you do need exclusives, okay? Yes. I've said it. I am on record saying it. Okay? Yep, me too. All right. But I'm also, I also understand that exclusives is not the only thing that makes people come to our platform. Now, Facts. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you why. Uh, this is my opinion now, now, guys. This is where it goes to my opinion. This is not, uh, this is how I see it, okay? I think two things make people come to your platform. I think it's innovation and economics. Innovation. You know, what new way are you making me experience something that I already like to do? And right. economic is the price right. I think if you lose one of those things, you're no longer appealing or compelling to the crowd give me a good example the time that the xbox 360 and the playstation was dominating especially the xbox 360 what was kicking their butts up and down the field the nintendo wii no are you kidding me like how does this <laughs> platform that's so weak destroy us we got gears we got halo we got we got uh, uh resident uh what was that um the new uh uh, game that came out on the PlayStation 3 that's now a big title, uh, but it started with the PlayStation 3. Ah, uh, oh, jeez, what's the game called? Not Last of Us, but the other one. What, that came out on uh, PlayStation? Uncharted. Uncharted. Right? Uncharted. Oh, Uncharted, okay. Uncharted. Uncharted. Big title. Good, you know, God of War. We, we got these. The Nintendo Wii is destroying it. Like, how is this happening? Well, it yeah. was happening because they had two things that they did right innovation and price when yep. playstation 3 first came out they had the games but their price was wrong they charged six hundred dollars and no one was going to buy that for six hundred dollars so they had the innovation yeah. but they did not have the price you see so those are the things that actually sell a platform is innovation and price economics what is it going to do for me that i can experience something better here and what's the price of it all right so that's my opinion of that and when we want to talk about exclusives you got to think back sega genesis had over 160 exclusives they're gone 
they're no longer around. Because why? Those two things, they didn't match up, man. Innovation and price didn't match up right, man. And guess what? Boom, done. Facts. There was not an exclusive alive that could have saved Sega Genesis. Not one of their exclusives could have saved it. Nope. That's a fact, man. And it was funny because so, when the Saturn dropped, they released, what was it, four, $400, something like that? Yep. Sony came out and just said, what, two ninety nine, and yep. walked off the stage? Yep. Took it. And not and, and at that time, Sony did not have one exclusive. And not at one. They destroyed Sega. Everybody Not thought that one. about PlayStation. Like, PlayStation was so great. It had, a, it had no exclusives. None. And they just walked <laughs> away with it. And then they started creating exclusives as they started becoming popular. As more developers started becoming interested in that platform. They had no <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, you got to think of it this way, too. How much does it cost to make an exclusive game? I looked up the numbers, and, and I could be, a, a, you know, a bit off. Um, but, um... It can cost anywhere from 60 to $80 million to try to make a AAA title, right? If yeah. you make 10 of those, you're talking about $600 million or $800 million. Now, that's just making the game. Now, so you made 10 of those, so let's just talk about one. Let's just say it costs anywhere from $70 million, right? You just made one. And that one game that costs you $70 million, you have to be marketing behind that. Now, marketing has no cap. That can cost up. Uh, that, that can go up to a billion just to get your game out there. Okay. So you're looking at this. You're like, okay, if I was Google, I'm saying, well, we've already put out Outcasters. We got a few other games on our list, and you know what? No one is coming to the platform. Because of this. Exactly. Okay. We we really really thought that we were going to get a lot more people, but right now, our Outcasters has been dominated by bots. And all we right. keep hearing, all we keep hearing from the community is we want COD, we want these other games, we don't care about no outcast. Right. So then Google sit back and say, all right, you know what? Let's do something for the community, and maybe they'll take it the right way. Because you know, some people that Google them uh, uh, behind the scenes are probably tone deaf when it comes to the way they relay their message, but they probably right. thought the people was gonna be happy. Off the right. Staff. So then they like, you know what, guys? We are gonna squash it. We are gonna just focus on third-party titles. Ching, then you guys are gonna be happy. We're gonna bring third party titles. Oh my god, Google, what's wrong with you? It's crazy. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to bring it for oh my god, I'm out of here. That's fucking ridiculous. Head was like, wow, guys, you just got through saying we wanted third parties and we focus on it. Now you guys wanna leave? Right. So, you know, so you know the confusion is there. So so here here here's another point I wanna put out. As soon as Google left that message, a lot of people say, Oh, well, they brought a game out that was weak after the message, which was farm scene. Okay. Well, all right, you want to say that, that's fine. But did you hear the news that they brought out? If you went to 9 to 5 Google, they said that FIFA was going to be on the platform in March. Right. Well, that's just verifying what they said. That exactly. They focusing on third-party titles, and then you get an answer right there. Hey, we're bringing FIFA That's major. March. How many times have people said, we need games like Madden and FIFA on the platform, right. and now it's like, oh, fuck that game, man. I ain't bringing no exclusive. Like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? Yeah, exactly. Like, seriously, like, sh sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. I'm not going to be that nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I get tired of the shit. Because everybody does this shit. Every time you hear something that you think you don't like or you think is going to get you views, you want to fake rage or you want to start talking doom and gloom. You know what I'm saying? Or you want to lose sight of everything else that we've talked about being important for the platform. We've ta I've talked about exclusive being important a lot of the times, but people say we need third-party games. The reality is we need CEO, we need COD, we need FIFA, we need the sports titles, we need third-party sport, we need a we need Activision, we need EA. These are the things that are most important. When they say that this is the damn thing that we're focusing on for you and making sure that the platform can bring the exclusive features that got you interested in the platform to those third-party games to further separate the experience, make it something exclusive and special, things that you say we don't have enough of on these third-party experiences, you get mad. You never had a first-party game confirmed. You've never even seen one game. We had ideas. We blew up the concept and idea in our mind. We were having wet dreams. Oh man, it's gonna be, oh man, we could be this, it could be that. I even said uh, that's on the record too. I was like, there, you can, I was like, people are smart. It's gonna be God of War like. It's gonna be Legend of Zelda yeah. like. I yeah, said, yeah. no, I no. Said, if the third party game comes out, I, I said, don't get yourself hyped. I don't think it's gonna be a God of War game because, again, 
this will be their first time even making a fucking game. The chance, uh, the chances of this game, and I know we're like, well, they got these people over there. They're working on a platform that's never been made before. I don't give a fuck if goddamn on live existed or Sony had Guy Kai. Them shits just do a feature that Stadia is capable of doing. Those are not the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I it's think not the, the fucking same. That are, you know, that are uh, abandoning the wagon, as they say, are now scared because they think that because they know that Google is making a game, um, first party game, that that's their way of knowing that Google is committed to this platform. Bullshit. Right. The way right, they know so, that, no, 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 no. So, that's so, bullshit because they got onto the platform beforehand. If it was that important, yeah, they would have exactly, waited for yeah. first party and games. A, so I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that that's shit. That's the problem with how you perceive the platform if you are yeah. not, I mean, okay, you're, you're always looking into the future, right? Like what it could be or what could come in the future. But yeah, if you're not happy with the platform right now, then I think that's the wrong approach to abandon everything just because you think the future is like, oh, this platform is garbage, but I'm in it because of the future. But that's that's not why you probably went into it the first that's place. That's exactly but, why they didn't get into it. That's yeah, why I asked so, you guys, because it, it gives it's a small sample, of course, but for all of us, it's the it's, exclusives were never the reason. It was the technology, the convenience, the costs. You know, and being able to play these amazing third-party games that would uh, either require, uh, you know, you to purchase a console or a high-end PC with uh, with uh, Cyberpunk in mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, by the way, have... I didn't mention this uh, as well, but one of the reasons too is getting games day and date without buying yeah. a console. So that's right. So, so yeah, uh, those things. You know what I mean? It's like I all I have to do is have good internet. Okay. I'd rather do that. That's why nobody said, oh, because that one game they never really even talked about that I got uh, dreamed up in my mind is the reason I'm going to get this plat. No, that's that was icing on the cake. We're going to get games exclusively. Man. Oh, shit. OK, I'll, I'll look forward to that, too. But in the meantime, where's the games that I do want to play on this motherfucker? That's what I'm looking for. That's all everybody has been talking about. Oh, man, uh, the games that they're bringing from these third parties is not what I want to see, man. I want to see more big third party releases now. They're saying that's exactly what we're going to do. Again, I'm going to repeat that shit. I know you've been saying it over and over, bro. But I got to repeat that again. Drill it in their fucking head. Now they're saying they're doing this shit. And it's all over. They're going to sell their technology to some other fucking company. Are you oh, yeah, serious, dude? Yeah, Who the fuck? Um, Man, okay, quit so with that, that nonsense that, ass shit. How the fuck you going to say some old dumb shit that's like that? The, hey, they're going to sell the their technology thing. to the competitor yeah. now. Man, you on some really, bullshit. Did they, did they really say that? Hell they don't know they didn't say that, that shit no but that. that's, that's just why, people's that's talking why, shit yeah. and it's like especially the motherfuckers mouth that it's coming from it's like how could you say some shit like that see like that lets me know where yo thing. you ain't you not support. genuinely in support of the you're not a genuinely if you saying oh. some shit like that you're not genuinely in support of the platform you dick riding whoever you think is the hottest you know what I'm saying? And you're looking for an opportunity to be the first to jump on what you think is going to be the hottest. To say some shit like that. These Look, this on? is a multi-billion dollar industry. Google is a multi-trillion dollar company. They're in this game. They're not going to leave it. There's too much money on the table it's for them money to leave right it. Now. Exactly. That's why they say it's sustainable because it's making money. But right. the and, first and, party and, studio is not. No, no. look, they will revisit first party experiences. If it becomes something that they see viable again, like I said, they can either use third party and just hire them on and have their own because the Nintendo does that a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? They'll have second party or third party developers make exclusive games for them. Monster Hunter Rise is one of those games. Why is that shit not on a PS5, Xbox Series X? It can run on that shit because Nintendo hired it to make a first party exclusive and it's an excellent game. It takes great advantage of the platform as well. Now, this is the thing. What these these people that are saying that uh, who was I gonna say? I just lost track. I'm, I'm getting pissed off at this bullshit because it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, nah, fuck <laughs> that. I ain't taking no deep breath. I'm gonna take a foot and kick it in their ass. That's what I'm gonna do. Look, oh, deep, look, you you were never actually interested in this shit. You know what I'm saying? If you sit there, if you see that this is, if you think that there is just no hope. All of a sudden, you didn't actually, and if you're mad and thinking that it, it means the end and you are interested in the platform, you didn't actually read the fucking article. You read a headline, you got in your feelings 
thinking about what the naysayers are gonna say, they're gonna say shit anyway. You felt personally attacked and you took this shit way to heart. And a lot of them, I'm gonna I'm break it down even deeper on a fucking human level because this shit needs to be said. I get tired of this shit because a lot of the people that get so upset and it ain't feelings about this shit when at the end of the day, we know it's business. It's important to keep your business up. Now, if they done made these first party games and fell apart, you'd be like, man, why ain't y'all make a better business move, man? You know what I'm saying? But this is the reality. The people that get so upset about this shit and go on these tangents and get on, go on these rants and this dooms, doom and gloom and shit, you got a lot of shit going on in your personal life and you attach yourself to this and you get emo you take all the feelings and the, and the the down emotion that you feel in your personal life and you attach to what's going on in this industry and you take it so personal. And then you start dragging everything that you done built up about what you like with this platform. You drag it all down to the ground because you're not happy with what you got going on in your life. That's the real shit. That's the real shit because anybody who just enjoys fucking video games, bro, anybody that just likes doing this shit, I can, again, I can understand being like, initially like, oh, damn, that, that, I don't like that. But then you read, you dig into the context. You don't just get emotional and start lashing out. So I can understand just reading and saying at first and then digging into a little further. But just to go mm -hmm. all out, you are unhappy in your life. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And you need to start focusing on your life and stop projecting how you feel about your own life into this into this industry and into Twitter and all that shit because it's bleeding out. And the people who are really aware of this shit, they can see that shit, bro. It's embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? You're humiliating yourself. You're humiliating yourself. And you need to check that shit because it's not that fucking serious to get all down and out, start talking. I mean, you just flip 180. 180, you good, everything popping. Next thing you know, you hear one bit of new and it's just all bad, bro. I get sick of that shit. You're supposed to be having fun. This industry is supposed to be about fun. If you got some shit going on in your life, handle that shit in your life. Don't be dragging that shit out and then having everybody uh, uh, rally around how you actually feeling about yourself. You know what I'm saying? These people are, like we've already said, this company is, is making money. The platform is doing well. This business move is a smart business move. We've seen this shit done time and time again, and it's worked wonders for several different companies in several different areas of media and entertainment. We talked about Netflix doing it. Now they've got their own first party exclusive uh, movies and TV shows. They're doing extremely well. They're a household name. When Microsoft was actually focused on doing third party, the 360 did crazy, incredible numbers. It was like, yo, they might actually just take out Sony to the point where Sony's like third place for real. They had a shot. They fucked it up. They fumbled the ball. But when they did that move, instead of focusing on their first party, it worked wonders for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just a business move, man. Like, yeah. stop dude, getting yeah. so and emotionally that, damaged yeah. and sitting to here that. saying all this wild shit out of your emotions. You're not yeah. thinking logically. Think yeah. with your mind not with your feelings, seriously. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm actually pissed, I'm serious, because I get sick of this shit. It's not just in Stadia. This happened in the Xbox gaming, uh, the fan base with Xbox. They, they, they think with their fucking emotions. And it's like, instead of actually thinking logically and saying, hey, there's some things that do need to change, let's, let's actually let them know respectfully what we like to see. They get emotional and start defending with their, oh, no, no, I feel like it's gonna be da, da, da. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's like, dude, just stop doing that shit. It's not about your feelings in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Same thing when something's going well and you just don't necessarily agree to it right away. Take the time to digest that shit. Read it. Dig into it. Don't get emotional and then pop off. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. You're going to talk about me. Oh, you getting emotional? Hell yeah. But I mean, I know what I'm saying. I know where I stand on this shit. And I know what I'm saying makes sense. And I know you motherfucker that's looking at me right now. You know I'm talking to you. Because if, if, if a fucking... Hurt dog holla. You know what it is. The shoe fits. <laughs> fucking wear it. W because w match. You, you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> because look, this shit's about fun, bro. That's why every time I come on, I have fun. I focus on the games. You know what I'm saying? I focus on having fun with the community. And I know this shit is business. So I don't get too fucking attached. This Google does not represent me personally. What people have to say about Google, oh yeah, that's over. They dead now. I'm not gonna sit there like, man, god damn, man. Now I gotta feel all down about myself, man. They attacking me. They not, they not attacking me, bro. Well, don't attach I yourself to that shit. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you had that bottle in for a while, yeah. didn't you?
<laughs> yeah, bro. I had to get it off. Because I, I mean, it's like uh, all uh, year yeah. last year, bro. All year last year. Up and fucking, it's like, dude, when we start this shit, everybody was making sense. It's like, we understand it's tech, it's business, we're having a good time, we're mature. You know, all of a sudden now, it's a bunch of fanboying, a bunch of whining, a bunch yeah. of bitching, a bunch of complaining, never fucking satisfied, and all emotions. It's like, dude, like, if you just chasing views, just do that. If you want to go ahead and start, oh, everybody's being negative, I'm going to just say negative shit to chase views. I don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? But if that's, if that's what you want to do, fine. Do your fucking thing. Don't fuck with me no more. You know what I'm saying? But if you really about having fun and you really about just, you know, being a part of the community, take your time. Be logical about this shit. Don't just toss it up one day. Talk. It's, it's inconsistent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like you can't have conversations with any of these people. You know, they get so, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. Well, look, fuck I, think, it. I think it's a I think in my opinion, I think it's a combination of things. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. wind it back way back when the stadium first came out. Yeah, it was getting attacked. It was getting yeah. attacked left and right. Now, now we were on the other side and we were saying, "Hey, man, a lot of those things you guys are saying are lies. That's not true." Right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, this platform. Yes, it had its shortcomings, and yes, it uh promised things that didn't come out right away. But once again, it, uh, uh, the platform was performing well. <laughs> and so what happened is we started you know seeing google push some people wanted google to be a bit more aggressive stadia to be a bit more aggressive and some mm-hmm. some sat back and said just give it time now i'm thinking that i think it's at the level to where when stadia gets a little bit of success um it kind of creates a uh, anxiety of oh my god it got success uh okay we got to stay on top of things we got to stay on top of things and, and the slightest thing that goes wrong i think the uh, the emotions from the past, the ghosts of the past, starts to revisit and say, "Oh man, what if all those things those guys were saying were true about Stadia? You know, they, <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were trying to warn us, you know." And, and, I, and, and, and even though it sounds funny, even though it sounds funny, six, I really think that that's nah, playing the mind. Yeah. So what happens is some of us understand that it doesn't matter what some of those guys say as long as you have having fun. Right. But some of us don't. Some of us say, "Hey, you know what? Maybe what they were saying is true." And this is the reason why I wanted to bring some type of uh, uh, documentation of what I was saying so people can get a different perspective on how the platform is doing. The platform itself is profitable. It's, it's just been profitable since they started it. And, and it's another thing I think everybody should know. Whenever Google, whenever the media, the main media, when they're talking to investors, whenever they're speaking about cloud, they speak about the AWS, Amazon, and when they speak about the Google Cloud, right, and Azure, mm-hmm. which is Microsoft Cloud, they're not talking about cloud gaming. They're right. talking about the cloud services that they're giving to corporations like Ford, Disney, and 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 and, and so forth. They're, they're giving these services to these to these companies. Now, if the, the leader right now in these services that's, that, that is, is Amazon, they're the ones mm-hmm. that have the most people on their service. And then you have uh, Google and Microsoft jogging for the jogging for the first and second position. It goes back and forth, back and forth. The difference between Google, Amazon, and, and and Microsoft is that Google has a gaming technology that is light years ahead of its time. This is something that Microsoft and 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 Amazon has not figured out yet. They haven't figured out that gaming side. Okay. Mm. This is why Google, in my opinion, is so confident. And cutting off those studios and focusing on the third-party studios, we can see what happened with Cyberpunk, John Madden, and in a few of the other titles, uh, Division Two that came over. You see how well they play. Right. Like I said, the reason why I'm not worried, guys, is because you got to look at you got to look at it like this. There is no proof right now showing that this service is going to shut down there's no proof i know that at all saying saying that uh google graveyards and stuff like that and just like mmk Spoiled said shit. show me the proof right? right said that there is no proof guys and trust me i dug for it there's no proof that shows that the safe that the server is going there's more proof just like mm said too there's more proof showing that they have a right future right so i mean the, the thing is i'm not here to tell anybody look look man i'm not here to tell anybody that you're right or wrong i'm I, that's not i'm not here to say that 
I am. I, You're wrong. I can't say it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that, man. <laughs> You're, You're wrong. I can't, I, can't, I can't tell anybody whether they're right or wrong because everybody has their own reasons. But, uh, but what I'm saying is, it's like Six said at the beginning. If, if, if everybody can remember their reason that they came on here for, right. and if that reason still works, then everything's okay. If the reason you came here is not working, then, then I can see the panic. I can understand the graveyard talks. But that hasn't shown yet. It just hasn't right. shown. Google, what mm-hmm. they did is they put they help they put themselves in a in a in a in a, in a um, position that they shouldn't have in the first place, which is try to make exclusive games. They had no right. business trying to do that. That's okay? a fact. Because they're not there yet. Mm-hmm. And and there and I said this before. There's people either don't know this platform or don't like this platform. So if you make it exclusive for this platform, who's going to buy the it? Fuck right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The only thing they're going to buy into is if something plays better on your platform, which is how yeah. you prove yourself. Exactly. And now, I, now, I, hate, I hate to say it, but when it comes to technology, it's all about whose muscles are the biggest. That's yeah. basically what it is. Yeah. Unless you're a different platform, that's, that's usually what it is on this side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, uh, yeah, I guess um, Nintendo, I guess the only exception to that bullshit, but that's the truth. Yeah, now, yeah. now, ju- now, you mentioned something like about this um, not too long ago, um, uh, Demaculus. You were saying that, um, uh, okay, I guess I wanna, what I want to say is, first, let me frame this right. For those who it's not working for it now that this announcement has been made, okay, that's, that, I want to touch on that. If, like I said before, if what you were waiting on were exclusives from this platform, then you would not be on the platform you now. You wouldn't have jumped on in the first place. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't even be talking about no fucking stated. That's why I don't want to hear shit from those fucking people. To my, oh my God, it's over. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Well, fuck you. You shouldn't, you, would, you shouldn't have been on the platform in the beginning because there were no fucking exclusives in sight. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, how, how can I validate that statement? Demaglis, did you not just tell me about a few, a number of people who were like, man, look, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with Stadia, but I'm looking for Madden, for example. Yep. When they dropping that, when yep. they drop that, then I'll fuck with it. Did they fuck with Stadia before Madden dropped? Nope. And as soon as they dropped it, I started getting messages left and right. Left and right. I'm like, uh, yeah, they uh, got mad. They uh, got uh, mad. I'm like, what? Uh, there I'm you like, go. Oh. They told I, me before I knew it. You feel me? I've been playing this shit for over a year, and I've had some subscribers to my channel, regulars come to my channel. They never wanted to fuck with no goddamn Stadia. It wasn't until they saw particular games, they were like, hmm, I'm going to give that a shot. You know what I'm saying? Or a particular thing. Because that's what they were looking for. You can't sit here and tell me you've been a day one subscriber to Stadia, and all of a sudden now you drop the Man, get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit, you know, man. You know the people that want the exclusives, right? They're the same people that would, you know, brag about this for their oh shit console war argument yeah. that, right oh you know, uh, yeah i was i was yeah, actually I was, yeah you you, know, thank you for that, saying that, that chris that, that, cry 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 you know? yeah thank yeah. you for saying it because you just reminded me uh i was talking about that with with Demaclis. we had a conversation a separate conversation outside the streams and uh i was telling him i said look exclusives what they do uh more than anything is exactly that you know it's it's good for the media is as talking points and for bragging rights for those people you know who who want to be fanboying but the reality is unless again you're nintendo they're the exception to the rule with this shit but the reality is most consoles exclusives sell the least out of all the games the big games you know anyway on that platform you know what i'm saying most of those people they talk all this shit about these exclusives they don't buy them look at xbox one yeah. You know what I'm saying? They talk all this big shit. Oh, we got this. We got that. They didn't even buy Halo Five. Bragging rights. You just yeah. bragging rights. Recognize that you know? the important part about exclusives for cloud gaming is it's stuff that couldn't be done on any other platform. Right. I exactly. mean, an exclusive exactly. on an Xbox versus an exclusive on a PS5. Like those games could easily run on on the other system. There would be no problem. What right. people are looking forward to, what people want, what people were hyped about, what people are disappointed about definitely not getting anytime soon now right. is a cloud gaming exclusive 
which could be unlike any other game that has ever existed. Right. Because it's impossible to do. Right. So the concept of exclusives is a little bit different when we're talking about Stadia now. Preach. Because, it, I mean, it could be something brand new. It could be something right. that has not That's existed. That's what I'm sad about. Yeah, you won't see well, that anymore. Well, yeah. look, we wouldn't, but honestly, though, still. we wouldn't, we wouldn't see that for probably the next five years anyway. So this is mm -hmm. the thing that, I, that this is the thing that, right. This is the thing that I, I believe Google recognized and said, look, again, we're better off building this platform, making sure that everything works properly. We give the proper support to our third party companies to take advantage of the exclusive features and make sure we have the games that people actually want now mm -hmm. here at the highest fidelity, at the highest quality, the best I premium agree. experience that they can get. Higher priority. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so now and, it means and, and once adding we those have, features to the existing games. Right. Once we have more capital, we have more mind share, we have more uh, investor trust, all these consumer trust, you know, all of these things. Then we and we actually know the technology has been matured. You know what I mean? We've, we've all been I working it on it for a long time from the beginning. I Absolutely. Think they should have known that. Yes, they that, should have. They should have. A really bad sign of, you know, Google But at least they course they corrected. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, it's at least they course corrected. They tried, yeah. Exactly. Like, it, it was would fine. You prefer them not doing Yeah, I would anything. Well, prefer them not. Like, I think everybody would have. Do nothing well, I have, a, I have a, no, I have I mean a, like I have people will be complaining that, "Oh, um, uh, we don't, we don't have this." Well, let me ask you this, Chris. If they had if they had Call of Duty and they had FIFA right out the gate, do you think people would really be complaining? Nobody would be giving a yeah. shit. Exactly. Like, Hell yeah, let's play Call and of Duty. then down the line when Stadia, when Google says, hey, five years from now, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're starting to look at building our own first party studios. Then people will be like, oh, okay. You see well, what I'm saying? It's, it's the same situation that they though. put themselves in all the time. They set mm. expectations and right. then they ruin it for themselves. Well, right. Well, here, but here, here, that's here. hindsight though, because uh, it, it made people excited about Okay, we'll see first part, and they they're in it for the long run. So, they know that it it is important for gamers to to have that. But it you don't just, think they could have sold it without that? Uh, you know, carrot uh, on the stick. Well, it's oh, gonna yes. be some <laughs> yes. people will be like some people will be like, oh, this is just you know uh, <laughs> them having a project. Yeah, but and, it's incredible. I mean, even yeah. that, even just yeah. you know the Stream Connect crap. Uh, you know the crowd choice blah blah you know, the being able to switch between screens no downloads no no loading like i mean even that as a platform could have sold but no they decided to hype everybody up as well uh you know in addition to all that stuff hey we're gonna get some crazy exclusives and they're gonna have all these these things and then they shut it down a year later like I, mm. that's poor planning yeah it is but at least they, at least they tried because uh, I wish they, they wouldn't. Have. I, I wish they yeah. would have waited I mean, until they yeah, were in a position to back. actually deliver. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I mean, it, it, back, it yeah, makes but, sense. It makes or, sense. But I mean, yeah, they could have definitely succeeded again. Talking about a streaming platform, Netflix succeeded without having first-party exclusives. Talking about a gaming platform, Sony definitely succeeded without having first-party exclusives. You know, and if if Google would have come out with those big games out the gate instead of investing in their own studios. They would have been. They would have had a bit more success, and nobody would have really been concerned about it. Again, honestly, most people, 99. I'm just have to say, 99% of the people that got on the stadium weren't really concerned about the exclusive. They were. They were excited about the idea of the technology and what that could potentially bring at some point down the line. Can I tell you guys something that a lot of people don't know? Mm -hmm. And I, I think. I said this really early, like on one of your first, the first times I jumped on stream and, and raced with you guys. Um, um, I said this, but I don't think anybody saw it. And I think you guys will see it now, what I was saying back then. What you were saying. Okay. Now this goes a little, I'm going to roll you guys a little in a different avenue here, but, but it, it, it goes back to what I was trying to say. All right. Back when the cloud gaming was first, not, not cloud gaming, when the cloud services were first coming to, you know, coming to face, right? They, uh, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google all had their own, you know, ideas oh, of how they wanted to do clouding, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Microsoft was the only one talking about cloud gaming. Uh, at that time, Amazon and Google, they weren't even talking about it, okay? Um, Google uh, had an invitation to a government contract for their cloud mm -hmm. service. Yeah, remember that. Right. Mm -hmm. Google declined the contract because they said it's, you know, it's for their 
their their t- terms and how they do things, they don't want their instruments to be used as weapons. Mm-hmm. So they Microsoft decline. picked that deal up. Microsoft jumped <laughs> all over. Yep. Bill Gates okay. is like, hell yeah. Yeah. Then Amazon came up and said, hey, that's not fair. We didn't get a bid out of it. So we're <laughs> going to uh, fight Microsoft over this because the government didn't get us get, get us in on this bid. Mm. All right. Now, here's my theory, guys. Google is sitting on a platform that's extremely powerful, so powerful that the government came to them and said, hey, we want, you, we want to weaponize this. And Google said, no, we don't use our stuff as weapons. They sit back and they say, you know what, guys, we can do something like this. We can go, we, we can do that thing that Microsoft was talking about that they never got done, and we can actually move right. forward with it. How about that? So, so then Google comes out with a surprise, surprise, so much that Microsoft was surprised. I still remember Phil Spencer saying that I, I didn't even know this was going to happen. They had to change their whole E3 event because Google was coming out with their uh, show, came out with their show of the cloud gaming before Microsoft's E3 event. So that, that threw Microsoft for a loop. They were like, wow. Then Phil Spencer said, we had to change everything after that. Yeah. So they surprised everybody. They shocked everybody. Um, This gaming experience has been an experiment for Google to see how far they can push it. Now, we know that Google's not Stadia is now more confident. And, and how are they more confident? They're so confident that they can give us bad news and stay quiet. That's how right. confident they are. Okay, because they understand what's coming, so they can give us bad news, which they probably perceive as good news. Yeah, yeah. Be bad news. Yeah. And be and sit back and say, you guys are playing cyberpunk because you know Google is, is is a data collector, so they see everything, even though people are talking out of the side of their neck, they right. see everything. Exactly. So they see cyberpunk. They see mad. They see all of this, and they like, you know what? Nobody playing outcast. Nope. Nobody's playing Nobody. any of these other games that we put out. And everybody's on these third party today. They're all over Red Dead Redemption. They're all over all these titles. This is where we need to focus. Mm-hmm. Let's just do it. Yeah. And so I, I get, I get what you're saying that they can come out and say that, but they absolutely should have couched it with some good news. Couched it I, with a third party I, game announcement. I, I think it's I ridiculous agree. for them to come out. It's like, it's I just giving people that. fodder for like. I agree oh. with you on that. And and that, and, that, and and that's why I said, you know, they must have been really confident to come out like that and not have anything to say. Or shit's going wrong. Right. But, or, but, you know, like, but, it might but, have not have been planned in the first place because but, gotta, they have they have a plan for what they have to announce for the next year, maybe. Um, yeah, but for sure. This is not part of the plan, so it's not like they could just make up something on the fly, announce something on the fly. Because I bet you even the people under the that studio are probably not even aware. Uh, because as far as I know, they were it was very short uh, short uh, notice for for this to happen, even for the people that are involved. So I think right now the silence is because first they don't want to just react to it in a bad way because. I mean, it's already bad, right? There's no excuse. But there's when I'm reading the blog, they were quite upfront with yep. what they want, and this is this and this is where I'm That's going right, back I to don't GFN. Get, yeah, yeah GFN. Clear. What do we complain about GFN? Their their business model is a problem because people are just jumping in using the free, you know, uh, uh, free uh, tier for, you know the the service so they're not making money out of that but here's what is uh for me the reassuring part about and what i think is why they know what they're doing they said here they're building stadia into a long-term sustainable business (laughs) so we are complaining about gfn's business model now they're shifting into a model where they're not going to lose money and long term it might even save the platform and the people's job within stadia right so that for me is the best move and they didn't and they didn't say they'll never ever create the first party game they said this is for 2021 right cool exactly but then you got then and that's what i'm saying you're right what you said chris i I don't disagree with anybody here what they're saying oh yeah everyone is everyone's points are really really good but Mm -hmm. what i'm saying is it still comes back to perception and, that, and that's what I was trying to put put out there. Um, that's the reason why I read that Amazon article. Because like I said, if you notice, 
that article came out February the 4th, but how come we didn't hear about it? Everything is perception. You you look at you look at Google Stadia and they come out with this news. The perception is that it's bad news. Well, that's the perception if you look at the title. But if you look inside the article, the perception changes because what Google is doing is they're trying to give us what we're asking for. Which exactly. Is showing which is showing us that they're listening. Right. If they weren't if they weren't listening, then they wouldn't have done this, and they would have just went on ahead and collapsed. Game glitch. As a gaming uh, uh, experience, because they would have spent too much money in gaming development. Nobody would have been playing their games because look, man, the proof's in the pudding. How many people do you see playing Outcasts right now? None. None. Yeah. How many people do you see playing any of their exclusives? I haven't seen anybody None. on Get Pack in a minute. Who? I, anybody see anybody on Get Pack? I when Get Pack Get came, Pack. when Get Pack was rolling out, everybody was talking about it. When Get Pack came out. The first two or three days, people played it, and then nobody talked about it right. because so, it was like, mm, no, yeah. and nobody wanted to say that. But yeah. I remember we ended up, we ended up getting together, and it was like, yeah, that get pack. We just started busting out laughing and shit because it was like, uh. yeah, <laughs> you know. So yeah, no, it's facts. Yeah, and and, and, and we try to we try to play Outcasters, but it's like every time you get on, unless you bring people on yourself, there's nobody playing. You so, know. so if you're if you're, if you're research and development, if your department in research and development is to make sure you cut out unnecessary spending so you can right. survive and become what you want to be, right? Then what's the point of putting more money in game studios? You're paying for nothing. Not only that, you got to think about it this way, guys. We now live in a culture where we do not like when the gaming developers are rushed or put down an alley where they have to suffer just to make a video game. You saw what happened to Anthem. Right, right. Ruined them when they found out that the uh, gaming developer was putting these people through hell. Mm -hmm. Totally ruined Anthem. Okay, Anthem's not the only company that it happened to. Okay, we, we, we numbers of companies where games were ruined because of how they treated their their workers. Google does not condone that kind of. Now I don't work for Google, but I just know based off of how Google push themselves out there and what they try to stand for, they don't really want to have those kind of environments where you you know you're knocking against the wall trying to you know hit these exclusive titles and it creates unnecessary stress but like i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna say this again for those people that like to compare amazon luna with google if you're going to compare it you have to compare it 100 percent i'm going to go right back to the article okay and i'm going to and i'm going to talk about something that nobody's talking about okay Here's the problem. Now I've already Thanks, read, Chris. read the part. I already read the part about right. everything else, right? About the gaming studios, and I'm gonna keep reading. It says Mr. Fresnier is a is an Amazon lifer who started his career in books. In section of Amazon.com where he uh, can you make me crew leader, Chris? Hmm? Did you hear me? Can you make me crew leader? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. Okay. I got you. Just, just ignore me for right. Just ignore my carpet right now because I'm, I'm reading this. Because I'm reading this, so don't pay attention to my view. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, no, we're not ignoring yeah. you, bro. Okay. No, no, no. I'm talking about my view. I'm talking about I see. I see. I see yeah. what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. okay. So he began his role as head of games and division, and bringing in some of the best gaming development talent in the world, including Portals, Kim Swift, Far Cry's Two. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Go back a little bit. Who, who are you talking about in yeah. reference? What are you referencing? Mr. Mike Fresno, the guy I was talking about at the beginning that, From... that Google hired that uh, has been sitting in the development for eight years. Not even... No, no, no. You're talking, about, you're talking about that Amazon hired, right? Amazon, Amazon. Yes, the Amazon, yeah, I'm sorry. Amazon right. hired, right? Okay, My, okay. Sorry. Okay, so he brought in talent from Portal. Everybody yep. remember the game Portal uh, from Kim Swift. Um, brought in the game Far Cry 2. Uh, the first person from Far Cry 2, Mr. Clint uh, uh, Hawking. And then Madden's Richard uh, Hellman uh, and EverQuest John Smithley. Now, today Smithley is no longer with them, but according to numerous current and former employees, Mr. Fresney Game Studios, he continuously ignores much of the advice given by his experienced developers. And despite frequently telling staff that every Amazon game should be a billion dollar franchise, he would <laughs> not, he would he would then understaff their projects. Furthermore, instead of using industrial oh. industrial leading gaming engines like Unreal Engine oh. and Unity, 
the studio Wait, opt uh... for licensed technology <laughs> and project. So what, here, here's what I'm saying, guys. This is what I'm trying to say. We hawk on Google Stadia all the time about the slight negativity that comes out. Mm -hmm. We always point right. at Amazon Luna as an alternative, but we right. never talk about the negative stuff that's going on. Uh, on Amazon, Google. exactly. That's what I'm so, saying. With the negative stuff that's I going got on with Amazon, yeah, but the negative stuff that's going on with Amazon are a lot worse than what's happening right. with Google right now. But this less, this is again, this is why I say a lot of these people have a lot of things that they're not happy with in their personal life going on because it's like you are just it's like you know it's like one of those people who buy a dog just to kick it because they're not happy you know what i'm saying are anybody listening y'all don't want to talk yeah. about this shit or what yeah, yeah. so I mean, this is i mean i know that's now. fucked up oh to God. say you know what i'm saying but it's real like some people do that it's like you just you're just picking on stated because you're not happy and you're using this example of Luna, which again has more poor examples of how to run a company than they need to be having to be considered a competitor. You're using them just to kick at Google. You know it's not true. You know they don't really have a, a, a chance right now as far as being truly competitive. But since you're upset with your life at home and you become so emotionally attached to what Google does as a way of representing you you know what i'm saying and they're not doing what you think they need to be doing now i'm gonna kick them because i'm already feeling bad i'm already hurt so i don't even care if it doesn't make sense i'm gonna try and make it make sense i'm gonna articulate it in a way that people find it believable what i have to say and hide the other things because right now what i want to do is kick google because i'm not happy with myself and I, I and, and this is where this is supposed to be my safe space where it, where I'm supposed to be happy. I'm known as a somebody and they're not making me feel like a somebody because these other people over here are able to talk about me for being a fan of this platform. And that hurt my feelings. <laughs> so I'm going to kick them. I'm going to use anything I can to kick them until they make me feel better about myself because I'm supposed to be somebody using Google as a way to make me feel special, as a way to be someone. You're not doing that for me anymore because this other guy is talking about me when they talk about you. And that hurts my feelings. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is, bro. That's yeah, what it is. It, it is. You know, no nobody wants to talk about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, if, if that wasn't the case and you're actually a logical person as you articulate things and make people, ooh, ah, ah, he's saying something, then you would know enough to know Everything that you said about Amazon doing poor, making poor choices is enough reason to say, hmm, either one of two things. Let me not talk about them in reference to what Google is doing wrong or mm, maybe I should also mention the things that this company isn't doing well also because I'm trying to give real information to people. I'm well, not being emotional. Well, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Here, here's another thing, Six, I want to say, Shit, I want crazy. To say about that. Here's another All thing. Right. There are a lot of people out here that, you, you know what, first, no, wait a minute, before I say that, Christopher, I see what you're saying. You're saying that people are playing outcasts. I didn't say that people are <laughs> playing outcasts. Right. We're talking what about I'm in, saying in is numbers, outcasts man. Outcasts yeah. are not going to bring people here. Right. And outcasts, uh, there, are, there are less people playing outcasts now than yeah. it was when it first started. It's a when fact. I, I outcasts, love the game. The game you're saying the game ain't fun. I love the game, it's, but it's, it's hard to find right people. Now, Chris. Yeah. Bot City, if, if me and you get on outcasts mm -hmm. right now, Chris, I guarantee you're going to be going against bots. Guarantee you. Absolutely, so, ninety percent so bots. <laughs> so, exactly. So basically, yeah. what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, here, here's what I'm saying, and this is why I stay in the I stay in the background a lot. Um, I ain't gonna say no names. I'm gonna just say it. Um, I'm not what up, Young David? What's good, but, PFG? But here, right, go ahead, here's bro. what I got to say. Um, there are a few people out in the community that um, put stuff out for people to. You know watch they give their perspectives and point of views and i respect that right where things cross the line is when they're starting to give their perspective and views as if it's the authority me mm -hmm. i will always tell you that i am not the authority but i will back up everything i'm telling you right with articles and facts and i will read those articles to you so you can see that i'm not pulling it out of my behind right i'm right. gonna line things up to show that everything that we're talking about today has already happened before exactly past. Okay, yeah. So, so, so it's that's why I stand really on my shit and, and you know and and be firm yeah. on what I'm saying, 
Yeah, because right. I, exactly, you got those same sources. But go ahead, brother. But yeah, but so so there's nothing really to panic about, and I show that we're all humans. I when I first read, read the headline, I myself felt thrown off. But then when I read into things, I was like, okay, I understand what mm -hmm. you're doing. What I'm trying to say is, I wish that there were more people within the community that put their self you know I mean? out there. I wish there were more of them that would put out more of a balanced truth instead of putting a biased truth. Because there are a few, a few uh, streams that I saw that I was very thrown off about how they were speaking of the platform. Not because I'm a fanboy. Look, I, I'm, I don't have to be a fanboy. I like the technology. Like I said, I'm a fan of ideas, not a, not a, not a fan of the platform. The Google idea, I'm a fan of. What threw me off was I seen some people saying that the platform was done. That I, I, I actually saw somebody on the show, okay, that stated these words that the people in the Stadia community are in denial because they don't see this news as bad well, news. Yeah, they I know. Like, like, what's what's now, that first, about? Now, first, what now, first is of that all, about? First of all, first of all, I wish I was on that show because yeah. I, li I literally oh, would I have it. I literally would have have pointed at him and say you know i i don't carry myself as a person that knows it all but i would like to know why you think you know it all because mm -hmm. see i i don't think for other people like i said my opinion here is everybody's opinion here is valid everybody's opinion here is valid i'm not going to tell a person who loves a platform that you're delirious <laughs> you shouldn't like this platform yeah. you should like my yeah. platform right there i'm sorry but if that was oh my, my show God, i would have so had I'm not the only to... one that thought that. Oh that yeah. After after that, that yeah. oh uh, everyone's why is everyone saying this is good news? No one is saying it's good news. It's saying that okay, we understand what they're trying to do, and if it's right. the best for the platform, then so be it. But it, they're not saying it's a good news. Who says yeah, it's and, a good news? And not only that, it's like Six was saying earlier. You know, who are you to come out here and 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 speak as if you know? You like you're the authority. You, you're not the authority. Okay. First of all, I guarantee if I look at your gamer tag, you probably barely play any stadium games. Here's what I'm trying to say. Oh when boy, you, he didn't did it. When you when you allow a person to come to your vin to come to your set and say things like that without correcting them, because if I say something wrong, I need you to correct me. And if Bruh. I say something wrong, I'm gonna correct them. Facts. But if you say something That's without do correcting it. them and putting them in their place, mm -hmm. then I would have to associate yeah. with the ideas of that person. Exactly. Yeah. You, exactly. Why do you? Why would I was you bullshit. Something like that when, when I was like, man, that fuck person out of here, doesn't man. even have any perspective of. Okay, I don't even know. Did they even read the whole blog? Because yeah. the last part already says that they're committed to the platform. If you're, and this is what I don't understand. Well, People are saying, okay, what would I, what would happen with my games? after but it just says there it's going to continue to be playable they're committed to the platform and that's true until it's not you know it, it, i mean they're not yes. shutting down the platform today if they were going to shut down the platform in a year they wouldn't say yo in a year we're going to shut it yeah. down but, but there's, there's no evidence committed. from the blog that they're doing that that's the thing no. there's, I mean, there's no evidence from the blog right like they only said okay we are shutting down the first party studios because it's not a sustainable way of doing the business so now that we are doing this and it seems more sustainable, wouldn't that be like your assurance of, okay, they're committed to it. They're making sure that this thing is going to make money and it will improve over time because that's what they said there. They're, they're improving the cloud platform for the publishers. So I'm going to, I'm going to revisit what I said here for anyone that says that people are delirious because they don't see this bad news. The thing I have to ask them is this, mm -hmm. <laughs> you saw me show you proof through articles and through different things i could I, if you want to know the websites i have them saved in my bookmark folder and the and the, and the folder that i got them saving is called facts okay? hey so, so, so here, here's 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 the thing if you have proof that this platform is going to be going in a year can you please send me facts and articles mm -hmm. that proves your point if you don't have any proof that this platform is going to be dead in a year then we're all just waiting on something that we don't know that's going to happen. Hmm. Well, that's all we can okay, do. Here, here, Either, here, way. Either way, but, you but, just got to wait. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we have to wait. We don't know but, what's going to happen. But, but yeah. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying, guys. This is what I'm saying. I don't have time to wait on the death of something. I'm going to enjoy it while it's oh, hell yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Waiting on the death of something is a very, it's a very, very, very 
pessimistic way of looking at this battle. <laughs> Man. Oh, you know, hey, oh, it's going to die, so I might as well enjoy No, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Come on, man. The, 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 the perspective is wrong. In yeah, my man. opinion, it's wrong if you're a person that likes the platform. It's not wrong if you never liked it in the first place. So, so, so the thing is, the way I see it is this has all happened before. This is history repeating itself. Understand that Steam was hated like Stadia when it first started. Yep. Um, I still remember mm -hmm. when I bought the CD. Uh, I had to buy a CD and you put the Ooh, CD. Yeah. And put the CD key in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk, talk about Steam, Guess what? man. Guess what? Especially in light of exclusives. To, you had to. Oh, I will. I will get on yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Get on you that one, brother. You had to um, uh, set up a Steam account to play your games online. And people hated Steam for that. They, oh, what is this? I hate this thing. This thing's gonna fail. We don't own the game. We don't own the game. Fail. Hey, Chris. Chris, jump out of that real quick. Jump out of that real quick. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm yeah. about to uh, do a live battle, so uh, we can get Max right, Tab right. in here. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna fail. This is all gonna fail. And 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 and, and look at Steam. So here, here's 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 the thing about Steam. Let me just and, uh, uh, Mr. Um. Oh, what's the man's name? Uh, 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 Gabe Newell. Uh, get not Gabe Newell, but the guy oh, who okay. also brought this point up uh, in the state oh, okay, of okay. the city community. Um, what's the man's name? Donnie. Donnie. From from what's the show called? Uh, man, poor guy. The Nerf Report. Oh no. Uh, oh, uh, Brian. Brian. Oh, okay. Brian. Right. Brian yeah. brought this up. I'm gonna give credit when he brought this up, even though uh, uh, Six and I have spoken about this plenty of times. He put it out there in the open, and, and I'm glad he did. Steam did the same thing. They yep. made talk about it. Team Fortress 2, Half-Life. They decided to stop focusing on first-party titles and focus on making their platform work better for third-party developers. Look what happened. Right now, when you think of PC, you think of Steam. You don't think Google wants you to think of them when you think of cloud gaming? The only way they can get that position is by giving third-party developers all the help they can get, so they can so they can become the definitive way to game on the cloud. I think that's Google's vision. I think that vision is being the definitive way to game on the cloud, and I and and, and I think that's been their vision since the beginning. What? So I I, I don't I don't you know I, I don't want to probe any further other than I just I, I am a bit surprised at some of the people that are at how they handled this um as i said on mm2k's uh thing i said through controversy you'll Be right find back. The true... okay Thank you. through controversy you'll find the true character of a person and when controversy hits that's when you find out where their heart really is and uh i'm not saying that if somebody should be a fanboy that's what i'm saying i'm not saying somebody should just stay yeah, yeah. that's not what you're I'm saying. right to do it yeah what, right right what i'm saying is when the bastards start coming out and killing the platform, they become the people that we thought we were trying to protect ourselves from. Mm -hmm. And they become the Stadia hater. And it's mm -hmm. like, okay, well, I, you know, I'm, I, geez, man, I, I, all, I, I, all this time I thought you liked the platform, but then, you know, like a boxer, everything exactly. works out until you, get, until you get hit in the face. And now, exactly. So you find out the true character of an individual through controversy. There you go. You find out how they really are. There you go. That's what I was talking about earlier when I was on my little rant there, my tangent. Like, get the uh, bro. You showing a whole face. That's your real face. Yeah. I mean, if 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 they really said that, okay, we're shutting down the whole service, I would understand that's when you do your rants. But they never really said that, and <laughs> you, hey. you can visit back, and I don't see any indication that they're planning on shutting down the service remember we always say they only shut down the ones that doesn't make any money this did thing any, makes money did anybody go crazy when uh microsoft shut down mixer no did they, they did everybody right say on. that microsoft was getting ready to close the doors when they shut mixer down right uh -huh. no they didn't no, it's a Google but, but, thing. But, but, but Google mm -hmm. gets right. the thing because we all got the Google graveyard, man. The Google graveyard. Do you know how many, look, this is how I understand people listen to the media and not read facts. Do you know right. how many failed failed uh, uh, business propositions and things like that that every last one of these companies have? 
<laughs> the only reason we know about Google Graveyard is because Google has it out there because they keep themselves like that to where they, keep, they, they don't mind showing you their failures. But if you look at the failures of Microsoft, Sony, and all the rest of them, sometimes you sit back and realize how they even survive. So, well, I mean, it, it's, it's, the Google it's, it's, it's a part of the industry. And the Google it's, Graveyard was failing. It's overblown. Them. Exactly. Yeah, it is. It is, it is yeah. Because a lot of those services that they, you know, quote, got rid of, uh, they just folded them into other services. And there's absolutely things that they've gotten rid of that people oh, wanted yeah. and people are upset that, that left. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Like that whole Google graveyard where you're like going page and page and page of like, here's all the things that they got rid of. Like a lot of that stuff was, okay, this this had a name, but now we're just putting it under a different umbrella. So mm-hmm. technically it's dead, mm-hmm. but it's really not. Mm-hmm. Right. And they don't, those are not making them money. This one is a continuous stream of revenue. Why would they stop it? They're so, well, this is the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, I feel like this is absolutely where we're headed. Yeah, it is. Because yeah. it, it's headed because it's, it's, it has two things about it it has innovation and it's economical. Those yeah. are the two things that, that create a bright future. They understand that they have the research and developers that do these things, they know what they need to cut, they know they need to keep. It's not going to make everybody happy, but we'll see what happens with the platform a year from now. If the, and it's like, well, what if the platform's not around? Well, I'm yeah, telling really? you right now, I'll tell you right now, if the platform's not around, cloud gaming is going to still be around. Well, and that's the thing, right? Because like, if, if, if Google's going to get in at all to cloud gaming, obviously they have, right? But it's like, it's not like they're going to get out and then get back in. It's not like they're yeah. going to shut down Stadia and then years later release Stadia V2. Yeah, You're like, yeah, we changed hey, our mind. By the way, I'm actually going to uh, mute myself for a second. I'm working on my headset real quick. Y'all keep talking. Yeah. Everything is good. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah, we got uh, you. We got you. Different. Okay. Go ahead. What you were saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's, we're far enough into the future now. We're far enough into the cloud gaming is going to be a thing that Google's going to stick it out. You know, mm-hmm. as long as they can continue making this platform as good as, as good as it already is and start pulling in some more third party games, mm-hmm. which, you know, I'm hearing rumors that there's big stuff coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, then what's the what's the problem, I guess? Yeah. You know, what's, what's the worry? Yeah. And the news just, just solidifies them bringing more of those kind of games in the future, because here's the thing, right? And, and I heard this one was said by someone. They were like, okay, give us a roadmap, show us the games that are coming. Uh, I mean, they already said that they're bringing in 400 games this year. Right. That well, move is for the future, beyond yeah. like negotiations for beyond 2021, not well, for this year. Here's the problem with the things that they're saying us and the things that happen though, right? They, they yeah. said, hey, we're going to make a whole bunch of first party games. Right, and yeah. then they close their game studio. Yeah, so that, we, you know, them saying they're going to bring X number of games, or them saying they're going to bring a specific game. You keep telling me that, but like, fucking do it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're right. Show you're right. me yeah. the game. Or yeah. Show me the first party games, or show yeah. me the so, third party game that you said that was going to be here. So, well, like you said, we will, we wouldn't know this in time. The ones that we we now would see based on this move that they they just did. The fruit of this thing that they're doing will be shown on 2022 because 2021 is already set. They have their games, it'll be announced, but if the 2022 games are not on par with this whole move, then that's the time that I would be mad at them. But for now, we can't because they're not, they're not suddenly, oh, there would be now 500 games. No, it doesn't work that way. It works the way where it's going to be a move for the future. And I don't know if you're patient enough to see the future, but mm-hmm. for me, I, I'm all about getting those Blizzard games. I'm looking right. like clamoring for a Diablo game on this platform. And if they are if they can manage to do that, then I mean, I'm still going to stay with the platform. I'm not. I'm not going to jump just because, oh, they said this. First party games, it doesn't sell for them. For them. Other other ones, they do. But they can have second party games, exclu- exclusives. 
doesn't stop them from doing it, but it, those things doesn't sell as well. So, you know, I'm sorry, yeah. go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm practically done. Yeah, I say, you know what will, what will uh, make me start changing my mind about this platform and possibly probably want to leave it? You know what will, will do that? Mm -hmm. What's going on, Bibbidi? What's going hey, on? Hey, Bibbidi. Yo, yo, yo. And yeah, we so, got the master so you, in the house. You know what yeah. will get me to leave the platform, guys? Yep. Is, well, it the quality, is, it, is it the quality of the platform and everything that Google says quality versus quality wise starts to fail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as, as long as the, the quality of the one, when the third party games comes out, mm -hmm. as long as they keep on this momentum of performing well, doing well, I'm good. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. if, the, but if Google start to short us on quality and start to, you know, chop us up and games start playing like crap then there's no reason for me to be on the platform so, yeah. so this this is the reason why i'm saying i'm, I'm not too All worried right. because i see what they're the, the third party games they're coming out with have been on fire they have mm -hmm. been on fire exactly and this, yeah. and this is a and this is a company now guys the articles that i read are companies that's been in the industry for over 30 years this is this is a company real quick can you guys hear me okay yep yeah yeah, yeah. Right. it sounds fine okay good oh is that bippity yeah, yep. they just came in. Damn, bro, what's good, PFG? Yeah. What's up? What's up, y'all? Yeah. Right. Shit, shit. All right, cool, cool. Okay, finish your start. Oh, okay. Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this is a company that hasn't been around for, uh, as long as the companies that I was speaking of when I was reading the articles. Um, this is the new kid on the block. So Google has only been out for a year and some change, right? And <clears throat> they're doing things that took these companies 10 to 15 years to accomplish. They're doing it at light speed. That is very threatening to your bottom line if you're trying to compete with this. Now, I have heard words of, of, of possible, or you know, maybe uh, uh, ideas out there where maybe they'll sell the technology off and stuff like that. My opinion to that is, why would you sell your technology to mm -hmm. someone who is competing with you in the actual grand scheme of things of the cloud computing services? Or well, if that they don't want to hold the platform. That, yeah. Right. I mean, but that's a viable where, solution. Mm -hmm. right. But where, no, where but, did but, they but, state but, no, that, here, though? Here, here's, well, of course, here's, they're not going to state it, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, from the blog uh, post, because a lot of people got it from the blog post. And yeah. I'm like, here, where is it from the yeah, blog the, post? Yeah, I mean, if the, that's the case, then why did why did they state the, uh, if they're just going to hide things they're going to get rid of or, you know, stop, then why did they even talk about the fact that they're closing the studios? Why not just close okay. it quietly and never tell anybody? Mm -hmm. But yeah. here's the thing. You know, I mean, they're not they're not closing it, you know? That, that's what I mean when I say there are people that's touching hot subjects that don't understand what they're saying. Mm. They're, we're, 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 what's going on here, and I'm going to tell you guys, this, this is why some people are touching the subject and they're confusing themselves. When they're talking about, when, whenever you hear somebody talk about Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS, and, and Google Cloud, we, they are not talking about Luna Stadium. If you, right. look at the, if you look at the 10K form, the, what they call a prospectus in the, in the stock market, if you look at the 10K form, and if you go and look for the word Stadia in Google 10K form, or if you look for the word Luna in Amazon's 10K form, they don't exist. They don't show up in the form. Investors don't care. You know what? You know where it well, comes under? Well, it's a under? blip. It's you a know blip. Where, exactly. You know where it comes under? It comes under other cloud services, and it's not even stated under other. And that's both Amazon and Google. So. This is the reason why I said people got to be careful how they approach this. When they say, well, Amazon's doing this. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You're talking about the computing services. That is ex that is very different myself, from the gaming services. They're not the same. When yeah. you're talking about That's Stadia, you're talking about a whole different division within the cloud. Base. And they're not showing those numbers. They're showing the cloud in general is profitable. So when people say they'll sell their tech off, my question is, who are they going to sell it to? Why would you sell something that's already profitable? That makes no sense unless, unless you have a partnership coming. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that we all know that Microsoft, what they like to do, they like to partner with you if they know that you're spanking their behind at something. So I wouldn't be surprised if it went the other way around. If Microsoft came to have Google and say, hey, why don't we partner with you guys since you're spanking our behinds because we can't even get on the personal TV yet. You see what I'm saying? It, it goes, it goes the other way because it's not Google that's suffering. It, they, they ain't suffering, trust me. It, it's, it's, it's about technology, and right now Google technology has shown that it is better 
the Azure, the, the Azure technology when it comes to the gaming side of things. I'm not talking about the customer side of stuff. So that's why I, I would say I would I would please any if if, if any any people out there are watching this um that's that talks about that please be very careful because because you, you, you're, you're misguiding people because you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to the different the different mm -hmm. tiers of this you, you could be telling them oh they're they're not doing well here but they actually are doing well you have to read into the details in the 10k form if you want to be someone who understands this stuff, you need to learn about it mm -hmm. so that's just my yeah. take on it i just get i just get a bit bit edgy when somebody puts stuff out there and they don't yeah you know, how about pvd what go. uh what's your thought of that blog post That's i mean you had time to digest it <laughs> have your thoughts on it right oh i do yeah i mean I, at first i was mad but then like when i actually like read it and stuff and went through it i was like i mean to me personally i think it's a win-win because mm -hmm. we're gonna get the games we want yep. um and on top of that i mean they're talking about it, it looks like they're gonna lease their tech like out to different people because they said they're going to bring their technology to uh the other other players and stuff mm -hmm. so i mean that's a win-win like i mean stadia you know they're going to use stadia's back end or you know the tech or whatever it is so mm -hmm. i mean I, I you know i i think it's a win-win and then uh um i think the thing about first party studios like some of the people who were upset about them closing japanese japanese um, uh, yeah, like some of the people who were upset about them closing, um, um, I don't think it was US, about sir. them, huh? Accurate US. No, go ahead. Well, please, go ahead. man, it's Honda, bro. It is US. It's under US, sir. Man, oh, wait, wait, I forgot you. to change my card. Damn it. Bibbidi, go ahead, talk. Go ahead. Just... Sorry, oh. sorry, Bibbidi, sorry. Oh. <laughs> What's that other thing with what you're saying? Sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, nah, um, I think. I, I think just the first party studios was like a blanket for some people for their confidence. Like, I don't think it was like, some people don't really care about it. They're just worried now because <laughs> they think Google is going to do anything because they don't know. You know what I mean? Like they're not, a lot of people don't really know or like understand things that go on uh, behind the scenes. So for them, it was just like, dang, like, okay, so they closed that down. I'm kind of afraid now, you know, that, that's all that was, I think for some people. But for me, I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm just waiting to see what happens. Like, I don't really care. Like, whatever happens, happens. I just, this, this technology is way too good to me, and like, basically, I can't, you know. So yeah. Yeah, Bibbidi, 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 uh, hold on, hold on. Again, why did you get into uh, Stadia? Because I know we've had a whole video why Stadia. You know what I'm saying? So please repeat to me why you got into Stadia in the first place. Oh, because so I can play more, and like, just I don't want to buy. A huge PC or a console uh, convenience, like no other platform does it except except Luna. But I don't I don't like their business model at the right. moment. They're not they're still very early, you mm -hmm. know. But GeForce Now, I've tried that, like, and I'm just like, uh, you know, you got to log in all these different streams, mm -hmm. uh, streams. Service it's page. not yeah. yeah, it's not truly click to play. Right. And it's yeah. not, yeah. Yeah. It's, right. you know, it's kind of all over the place for me. It's kind of inconsistent too. So I'm just like. Yeah, you know, it's either Stadia or Luna or you know whatever's more, you know whatever. More of the console, console experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, so does it still? So does it still serve its purpose to you after this announcement? Oh yeah, yeah. Cause like I mean, we don't know what those first party games could have been. Like they could have been <laughs> trash. <probably laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Bippity. Thank you. Cause I, I want to be the one to say it. You know, like the reality is again. Their first game would have probably been mediocre at best. Let's just be honest. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Should have been really disappointing. I mean, right? It would it would have definitely been. It could also be been good, but only five it people could have. are playing it. And there you go <laughs> with that. You know, there is a chance yeah, it could have exactly. been a smash hit, but the 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 likelihood of it being a smash hit is like point point or point zero zero one percent. They know that, and they know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and is anybody? And now let's be honest. With the conversation that we've been having in the Stadia community. You know what I'm saying? Has anybody really just been going heavy for first party exclusive game coming in? Are they have are they have ugh, or have they been going heavy for third party triple A games coming to the platform? Well, and if there's third two party. things to consider for that. Thank People you. want third party, but that's also something that's feasible in the near term. 
we could get right. Todd tomorrow, that wouldn't yeah. be a problem. Right. Um, yeah. But, you know, if we're five years into the, the platform, I think then people are going to be like, more thinking well, sure like, you you can't be you can't be begging for a first party game a year after a platform's been out right mm -hmm. yeah exactly. you know so it makes sense that more people are asking for third party because of course one it's feasible uh, yeah. but but i think i agree with the fact that i think people want that more in general anyway. absolutely yeah, yeah. Absolutely. the only thing yeah. we miss now is that pure cloud uh game specifically made for that type yeah. of and Bippity, you, you said something about, about that. You said something about that in the chat. You want to go ahead and uh, bring that up? What? What you mean? What you were talking about as far as that pure cloud gaming experience, how it can mm -hmm. be brought to the platform. You you had something to say about how that could still oh, yeah. exist. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like honestly, if they wanted to, they could just like five years from now, they could just pay uh, Ubisoft or like you know some 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 other company to just go ahead and make it for them. Like mm -hmm. it, if true. they have like a lot of people on the platform. They don't even have to invest in the studio. They can just pay somebody else to make it, and they'll mm -hmm. gladly do it because mm -hmm. it's going to be something that hasn't been done anywhere, you know? Like, right. they just have they, they got to worry about building up. They got to get the games on here that everybody wants first. Right. That's mm -hmm. what they got to do. So yeah. five years from now, they can go ahead and do that, and they don't have to worry about any of that. Right. And know? also, BBD, BBD, don't forget, how, how was Cyberpunk made? They didn't yeah, right. hire CD Projekt Red directly. They have a company that did it for them. So if they don't yeah. even have to rely on on Ubisoft to do it for them. They could hire someone else to help out in porting the games and getting them to the platform. So maybe right. they'll do the same thing with the future AAA mm -hmm. games. Hire someone to do it for them, not directly the publisher itself. Because they don't want to be bothered, maybe. They don't want to invest on it too much. So if you can get someone else to do it for you, that's like almost getting or even your internal. Own starting. Yeah, the internal yeah, Google teams that do that. Yeah, yeah, they help right. them, right? right? So, so if that's their focus, and that if it means better quality games like how Cyberpunk went, then why not? Right? Yeah. Why not? And again, I mean, um, we've seen this before with other platforms. You know, where they'll get, they'll hire a third party or they'll even bring in a you know, a, a third party make them a, a second party, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to where they develop specifically. I mean, Nintendo, Sony has a lot of these games made for them. Microsoft has done that before with the third party companies, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and mainly with Nintendo, uh, a lot of times these companies will take advantage of this, the hardware specific features, you know, because Nintendo tends to be the one that kind of stands out with the hardware specific features. So yeah. with Google having that same kind of ability to do something that stands out, they can focus on that. And these people that have been, you know, removed from their jobs at these at these studios or these studios that they had the stadium games entertainment um they can now be used i talked to the Macus about this they can now be used as um you know consultants if you will or you know uh, programs that come in and help these teams that know how to work on games that got years and years of experience making games great games and know what makes a game fun and enjoyable for uh, the gamer uh, but doesn't understand the the platform itself, the technology behind the platform. They could they could use their expertise because they the one thing that we know they've been doing at the very least has been working on several different projects on what works with the platform, how this needs to be programmed, where this needs to be used, and what you can do with this and that. They could use those skills to then teach you know some of the people because they they said that um, they need to bring more support to the third party in the sense that they need to better understand what the hell Stadia actually is. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. how do you work in this space? You know, mm -hmm. um, those people could have jobs in that. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I mean, I just think, like, the way they announced it, I would mm. say, like, it was kind of like, okay, why, why did y'all word it like this? But, like, when I was <laughs> reading it, I was like, this is great news. Because I was like, they're, they're, they sound like they're about to lease their tech out. We're going to get these third-party games. From yeah. what they're saying, so I'm like. Well, for me, I win. didn't read it as them leasing. I would, I read it as them. Let's say uh, Ubisoft, right? They also have their. They're talking about the people liking their games. So that's how I see it. Like, okay, you will be getting your your players to our platform and play under there and have the best experience. Right. So that's how I read it, but people read it as them missing the, the technology but like like they're they're parceling it out and they're, they're dismantling yeah, the, the yeah. brand no 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 yeah. no no no, no, no. But at the, it, that that if you read the end 
that's contradictory to what they said. They said they'll be committed to putting in games and committing to the platform uh, for the future of the platform. So it's it's kind of like a a, a contrast to what what they are thinking that they will be licensing this. I say what maybe what they're saying is they're committed to getting the players for that publisher, the ones that are a fan of their book. And it could be the the Ubisoft Plus, the EA, whatever uh, subscription service they have. It's It could be for that. But that's how I read it. But Yeah, like basically, because a lot of these... Don't know. Yeah, because a lot of these publishers are trying to have their own cloud gaming platform to give a cloud option. For instance, um, I forget the name of the company, but they had that... Uh, God damn, what is that game that came out um, that everybody talks about as a visual benchmark for RTX? Ah, uh, damn. It's, everybody's talking about it. It has a female lead protagonist. Talking okay. about the medium or control? No, control. They have yeah. their own cloud uh, service, and they're using that to present the games uh, on Switch. You know, um, uh, Iados, uh, Square Enix, they're using cloud to uh, bring Hitman 3 to the Switch, you know? Um, it's like, hey, you could use our platform, you know what I mean? You, you can have your games run on the cloud and they'll be the players will be playing on Stadia. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you can get the best cloud service. You don't have to try to invest in something that's ultimately gonna be mediocre, you know what I mean? Right. Because you can't yeah. invest as much into this uh, technology as we can. So how about you just don't worry about that? You've essentially put it on Stadia, but you can present that game uh, being playable on the cloud through your storefront. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of what... I would be surprised, and maybe I'm just misunderstanding what it might look like in the future, but I would be surprised if they could have both. If they would do their own platform, but also allow it to be used in that way. Sure, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah I mean, yeah. that that could be something that they could do, but you won't see that as obviously as people might think because they they would try to hide the fact that it made or run you think running so? under state well that's how everything uh normally works like they're not going to present you with oh powered by stadia do you think they will put well, that but like in? you what? know how does how does multiplayer work or something like that if somebody is playing on the stadia platform and then somebody's playing on switch or whatever um but through stadia technology i mean aren't they on Cross the play. same yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, so but they will, have, they will they will rebrand. Yeah, they will rebrand it with something that's not oh, I see what you're reminiscent saying. I see of what you're Stadia. Saying. Because even this the Switch version, uh, the cloud version for the Switch, they don't like put the the company that is doing the cloud. They you right. have to find it yourself, like research. Right. Right. right? right. But they're not gonna put. They like, could obfuscate that the yeah. same way. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. I see what you're saying. I see white what you're labeling saying. is like they they won't tell you what it's powered by but maybe maybe i mean if they're really you know depending on the partnership but but normally companies don't really advertise who's uh, the third party that's running behind their services right. shoot man i don't even care man Just right the damn yeah game I, here. <laughs> I see what you were saying yeah. roy you were saying if if, if somebody was playing a game through the cloud on the Switch mm -hmm. powered by Stadia, how would they yeah. mention their... That could their... be a good marketing tool as well, right? Like, yeah. if Is a that what you were saying, Roy? Really yeah, yeah, I mean, do you call it powered by Stadia? Or do you okay, yeah, no, I, I don't, say, I, I don't like... think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I see what you're saying. Though, but, yeah. but they could, they could. Uh, I mean, why not? If, again, depending on the partnership that they have. And Just true. How much, how much, uh, how much, uh, but... <laughs> That means people will speculate, oh, are they bringing Mario games now on Stadia? That will just confuse <laughs> people, right? right? Yeah, that will just you know. confuse people. But it's going to be mean, a nice uh, nice money-making thing for them. But there's no evidence of them still saying that, okay, this is what we're going to that This is what we'll be doing going forward. I mean, it, we're just speculating here. There's no official announcement about it. Is there? I don't think so. No, I, don't, I, I don't think I've seen them saying we'll be leasing this technology to our partners. They just said we are bringing their players uh, the games that they want 
through the cloud, you know, the technology stadia. But what if they're just referring to the stadia platform itself? We don't know. Right. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's how I saw it as. But yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just like you don't really know. That's why, yeah. like, I mean, they they kind of got to say something. Yeah, like, just to or... clear it, right? That's yeah. what people are just asking for. Can you clarify this? Maybe AMA, yeah. but they're being quiet mm. right now. AMA, so imagine. They'd get huh? smoked. Woo! That'd feel horrible. AMA. Yeah. Or they could just do the founder thing. They, they they just did it like a few months ago. They did an exclusive AMA with the founders. They could do that again, maybe. But they have to clarify it with people first. I think the announcement is there, but they need to maybe have an internal communication with their people now. And they don't want misinformation going out there no, if they, they just, not. right? Like, but they have to let whoever's gonna be doing the AMA know oh. everything about it and what to do what I answers. Think they know exactly. Yeah, yeah they, they don't, don't know. Anyway, they, so. They're probably still communicating fun, with people. We don't know. Yeah. And that's yeah, a I'll, problem yeah. too. They should <laughs> they should be better at communicating with that. A hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. All we do know is that they're doubling down on making sure we get the third party uh, games that we want. That's and all we them, know right now. Them, yes. uh, if not day and date, as close as they possibly can get to day and date. What's going on, <sighs> Jor, man? What's going man. on? Do uh, you play PS? Yeah, I have a PlayStation. We're playing on Stadia right now, but I have a PlayStation, yeah. So, um, what do you guys... Ha have you guys heard of the uh, APK for Project Hellstorm? Like, it got uh, updated. Yeah, I downloaded it. Um, what I'm excited about the APK and um, it's probably not not the way it's gonna work and not the Project Hailstorm but the the game chat on on the app. Hmm. I'm hoping that they could make it so that it could work from the phone. It's hmm. silly that that doesn't already exist. Man. I know it's, it's, right? it's, it's all these half baked, you know. Yes, right, that's throw it out. That's there. my issue with uh, Google, but mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> There's a lot guys, of things that we wanted before that is in now that we're not complaining about anymore. That's true. So. That's true. You're completely correct. I just think the the whole yeah. But you're right. Like, My God, it's, it should have been there day one. It should have been there day one. <laughs> <laughs> the head scratcher sometimes and how they do things. <laughs> but did you guys see what it said though? No, what did it say, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, about the enhancing the health star. Yeah. It, what the hell does that mean? Like, what does that mean? Now, what did you say, enhancing what? It says like take your game into the next level with Project he Project Hellstorm by Stadia. Like it says something like that. Hmm. Uh, I'm just afraid that it might be something that is just added by some of the devs just for you know shits and giggles. Oh, I don't think so. I no, really? God, you think that's... it's that trivial? But they do. They, but no, but because they do that too, right? Not not only them, but other other uh, publishers do that. They add those those lines on there oh come on why we got non-japanese vehicles up in here man uh, why well, i see shit. a swedish okay, vehicle okay, sorry, in here sorry. bro <laughs> that's my bad uh, that's my bad i forgot the macklis with your, your mic muted and stuff he trying to he trying like he don't know what he's doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna <y> talk. <laughs> ah yeah uh, let him talk i'm gonna go ahead and bring this conan seg in here <laughs> And try to wipe the floor with everybody. I did the same thing though. I said I did the same uh, thing. I can't even I like I'm win the match anyway. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I'll switch it. I'll switch it when I win. You damn know. right. This is supposed to be JDM Legends, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 he's trying to call hey, my hey. Acura American, man. Look, just because they put it together, all the parts is Japanese, bro. And, and, and out of Mexico, too. Maybe some out of Taiwan. But damn it, it's Japanese, okay? Hey, it's made in Japan. It's made in Japan. Uh, <laughs> Parts are right. temple in Japan. Yeah. Uh, so what has got a Ford motor, okay? Look, it's Japanese, all right? Come on now. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm letting y'all talk. I'm letting y'all talk, man. I'm, I'm staying Yeah, it is Honda. It is Honda. Uh, Bippity. This man trying to tell me it's American, bro. It's they American. Fall American. No, hey, man. You have to change. You have to change the the flag into Japanese cars and Acura is not part of it. And here, really? Yeah. 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 It, it's filtered it's US. as US. Yeah. US that yeah. doesn't make That's any weird. sense, bro. That yeah, I know. That's what I thought too. I'm like, um, I thought this is a Japanese car, but then when I filtered it. It, and it's showing it too as US. 
weird. It's, yeah. It's showing a weird. Weird. Like, contact with Eiffel Tower. Maybe right they moved there, their Acura division to the U.S. all of a sudden. Maybe. Like that, because maybe. it's more successful as a luxury oh, you guys uh, are car. Spanked. What hey is man, going look, on, look. Dude. You the only one ain't even talking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's exactly. Change. Yeah, and maybe let's maybe because the they're uh, because it's, it's Honda's luxury division, so you're right, performance. Right. So you would think, you would think. So maybe they moved it to uh, the states. I don't know. That's probably why. But it's still a Japanese. Yeah. It's still a Japanese brand. I ain't gonna. Yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna let that deter me. Goddamn crew too. <laughs> no, you can't it up, use it anymore. It up, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's all. It's the car. My damn uh, <laughs> thumbnail and everything. Y'all fuck. He got a U.S. car talking about JDM Legends. This fool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Wow, game in the stream. What's up? Yeah, see, like. Hey, this one what is, up, uh, Ace? US. How you doing, brother? Hey, hey. Oh, you missed the bulk of the conversation. We got hot and heavy in here, my man. We got hot and heavy in here. You know what I'm saying? Discussing some things. You know what was going? What's going on with Stadia? What the hell was Google thinking with this whole move to? drop their exclusive first party studios and where the hell are they going is it all over for stadia god dang we should all run for the hill okay man our, our games will just not be playable tomorrow <laughs> it's That's over it. it's, it's not, over it, it'll stop working <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's been it's a really good conversation though man you know i think right now it marks a good time where we should uh we can still of course we can still chop it up. you know how we do but let's get into these damn races and shit and just you know casually talk at this point you feel me Appreciate you coming through, uh, Ace. Though word, should you yeah, gotta jump in and, and join the conversation? Sorry. Ace, you wanna uh, you wanna jump into the chat, bro, and, and speak your piece, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can come in and speak your piece, bro. Yeah, for sure. Send you know him an invite. Yeah, man, definitely. He always says uh, good stuff. Man, yeah, on, man. <laughs> not positive necessarily, but like good. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, you know, he brings a, 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 a great and a balanced opinion here. Uh -huh, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. He's 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 a, he's a great example of a person that's in his community as a content creator who uses his voice to speak logic. He doesn't get overly emotionally invested. You know what I'm Agreed. saying? He Agreed. actually brings it to a point where you're like, okay, I can really take what he's saying as something of real value. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he, this is what he really thinks. He's not just chasing views and all that other stuff and, and riding the, uh, the bandwagon and what's trending. He's really being honest, you know, and I like that. I appreciate that uh, from sure. Ace, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, because there's too many, ugh, you know. I ain't gonna get back in there. You know, you know what I had to say. Man, I really hope they bring Battlefield to Stadia this year. Oh my goodness. Hey, so you and my friends list on Stadia, yeah. bro? Hold on. Man, if not, if you don't have him, shame on you. For real? I thought we was already plugged in. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. Here he is. Okay. Let me go ahead and add him real quick. Just in case you want to jump in, brother, I'm going to shoot you an invite real quick. We love to hear what you have to say, my man. says you're offline but i'm gonna go ahead and shoot it anyway yeah feel free to jump in brother feel free to jump in and i saw your um your dm i'm gonna check it after the stream man i'm gonna check it after the stream by the way yeah i got you brother <laughs> i was like yo what the fuck all right cool 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 oh shit did, did the race already start and shit no oh okay no, they're just <laughs> pulling around Okay, I was like, damn. Matter of fact, before we get it started, I'm gonna go to the beginning real quick and then uh, take a quick break. Man, y'all can chop it up, man. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Yeah, for sure. All right, y'all. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, my perception already changed back to, you know, it's gonna play the games. New games are coming. Yeah. Everything is just the way they were. Nothing changed. But my only issue is, um, because of the overreactions, like the potential of new people coming in, would it, you know, be negatively impacted? Yes. But yeah. not, what will? What, what, okay. What does? What? What uh, happens when a new AAA game comes in? That's 
that's something that people really want. People will just don't care about the old news. They just would be like, oh, damn, this game is here. Yeah. I want to play it. That's it. Cyberpunk came. All the bad, bad news from before. They all disappeared. Forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's just a a roller coaster. Bad news people forget about the good news that came before it, yeah. and vice versa. So I think after all fine. that, and yeah, they'll be fine. Release a game, all this will be forgotten. Yeah, remember uh, last year when everyone was dogging Halo, like. Like, oh yeah, some... yeah, the, the yeah. graphics. <laughs> and they were like, everyone was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be over. PlayStation's gonna win, like blow them out. Yeah, Xbox Bethesda. isn't gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> remember, uh, I mean, Stadia, like Stadia had so so much bad news like at the beginning of last year, and then Cyberpunk came out and it was big. Mm-hmm. It probably sold a lot. I wonder how much it sold on Stadia. Oh, yeah. yeah, it probably I'm did really good. That. Yeah. You declined the Maclis. No, go ahead, send it again. Oh, shit, I need to go back out a little bit. Yeah, it's just... Just drop the games that people care about, and this will all be forgotten. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I already uh, don't even... Uh, a lot of people... I, I kind of forgot about it already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I forgot about it already. Like, yeah. I, then I thought it was like a parent. month ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I'm playing the game, and it's playing. Okay. okay. I got one thing to say to people out there, man. Honestly, just don't take it. Just don't take it first. Yeah, don't get close to the mic. Get close to the mic, brother. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I'm just saying. Um, just don't take it personal. You know. Um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, reality is you're not losing anything. No. Nope. You know? Um, just don't take it personal. That's all. Don't take it personal. Look, I'm gonna I'm put the worst case scenario in front of you guys right now. Let's say three months from now, Google says, you know what, guys? You got to close our doors because, you know, even though we're making all this money, it ain't enough of that money. So we're going to close our doors and we're going to sell ourselves to Netflix. Now, that sounds retarded. I know it does. Just listen to me. <laughs> what, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is, if that does happen, what happens then? You don't lose anything. Well, I know I lose my game. Well, guys, come on. We all came to this knowing that this was a dice that we didn't know if it was going to last or if it was going to, to stay forever. But even though all evidence is showing that this thing's going to stay around for a long time, I think people need to just, you know, take a deep breath. Don't get yourself so emotionally attached to the company and to the people who are who are beating up the company. Don't get so emotionally attached. Just play your system and enjoy the games for what they are. Because I'm going to tell you, the best thing I, I got from Stadium, it's not the games. The best thing I got from Stadium was the people that I met. Yep. And mm-hmm. you know what? Those people that I meet, that I have met, I can go anywhere and only on any other platform. And that's all yeah. that matters to me. That's all that matters. If Stadia yeah. goes tomorrow, they go on tomorrow, we gaming on something else. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that there would be an alternative, but there but, are. But, but, yeah, but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like I... I I personally believe that Stadia is going to be around for a very long time. Mm-hmm. But if it does go, I still can pull something out of this positive. And that's the people I met. Because if it wasn't for this platform, I wouldn't have met none of you guys. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. the thing is, it, the, the, to me, I've got, I, I've, I've pulled out of the platform what I think that's value. Yeah. So, 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 if this platform survives, so be it. That's great. I think it will. If it dies tomorrow, I'm pretty sure the people on this platform aren't going to stop being gamers tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's nah. true. That's I'll true. Just, just, hey, where, where, hey, nope, I'm done coming. with gaming after this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if, the, if the news comes out, the first thing I want to ask is, so what are you guys going to be getting on now? Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what yeah. you got? Because it'll just continue. You know what I'm saying? So I, I believe the platform is going to be around for a long time. But let's not forget what we got out of this platform. Met some really cool people, man. Yeah, we exactly. met some jackasses too, but yeah, yeah. we met some really True. cool people. So I, I feel that, that it's, that's what makes it valuable. Yeah, 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 that's a good outlook. Uh, yeah, that's a really good outlook. Yeah, and yeah. it's true. Right. Yeah, I mean, shit. When it's funny because it's like. <clears throat> 
we're already speaking, not we, but there's people out there already who love the platform, if you will, and then uh, speak, oh, doom and gloom, it's, oh, this is terrible, Google is terrible, they're horrible. But when when Sega failed and they, they shit fell apart, oh, you know, we love Sega, you know, yeah. let's have a vigil and yeah, keep and them was, high, rise the and praise. Sega fans out there. You know what I'm saying? Let's praise their platform. They're still the greatest. We love them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, but why you know can what it I be the same? Sega, you know? Sega fell? You know what I remember? I remember Who's the that? games I played with. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know and the did? good times I we had on the platform. You know we all yeah. went to the PlayStation 1. That's there you go. You know. Yeah. We, kept yeah. we kept playing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, yeah. the platform's going to be around for a long time. That's some good people. You can yeah. take people wherever you want. Wherever you go, you know, if they want to go there. Yeah, key takeaway, man, like you said, is, is don't get so emotionally invested in these games platforms and these companies decision making exactly. you know you will always lose if you do exactly you know, then you think it's going to make you look bad right you're like dang dude you was you was fighting for stadia and they done closed down look at you you look sick. see this is what happens when you yeah. most invest in, you put right. yourself too close to the company and now if the company trip and bust they knee up on the daggone side of the wall you 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 running over there with bandages and everything all oh, like you know, damage control damage control and it's like guys just, just chill out Sorry. Yeah, exactly. they're, not talking, they're not talking about you personally. They're right. They're talking about the platform. Not you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that so much more kindly and politely than I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. That's why I need you here, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm yeah. crass. You're class. You feel me? Yeah. Straight up. You, you can never, you you never stop cash, the overreaction, <laughs> man. There's always an overreaction at yeah. first. Well, true. But yeah, yeah. The problem yeah. is, like, if you... If you can't even like try to assess the whole thing and maybe change your opinion a little bit, that's a problem. Like if you're always sticking to oh doom and gloom and based on what you initially just thought of it, then you know you're just someone that is maybe just a stubborn person. Mm. But you know, let well you know what we'll see. People it might prove people wrong or correct. We'll never know. We'll find out in the future. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But in the yeah. meantime, just have Damn it. You know? Yeah, and it guess is. what? And guess what? Car. Like, I like my car. <laughs> guess what? Like, uh, uh, the Maglis said. Look, if it does turn out that it, it shuts down, okay. I'm not gonna be like, ah, oh, man, it's a bullshit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm like. Exactly. Hey. Cool, you know what I'm saying? I mean, how about uh, what you think about like the stuff that people bought uh, on the platform and losing them? I mean, that's a legit, that's a legit concern, right? It is a legit it is. concern. It is. And 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 here here's the way I I'm see. I'm trying it. to drift. Um, this has all happened before too. Um, I'm gonna give you an example. Um, the platforms that we played on PlayStation Two. PlayStation 3. Um, I remember when I got the PlayStation 4, when I first got a PlayStation 4, and I went to my account and I realized that, that I could not carry any of my games from my PlayStation 3 over to my PlayStation 4, even though it was all on the same account. Yeah, so, man. Because I no longer own the PlayStation 3, I lost all my online games that I purchased on the PlayStation 3 just to go to the PlayStation 4. I could no longer play them as long as if I did not own a PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. So losing games is something that has happened multiple times in our industry. We just we just don't want to admit it, but it happens multiple times in our industry. Um, I will lose a lot less if Stadia goes under because I have a lot more games elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So. Say well, is that on purpose? I mean, you know, is that because you're not buying games on Stadia? I mean, obviously, no, there's just no, literally no, less no, games. No, I'm, I've, I've, I've bought games on Stadia. Actually, I bought a lot of games on Stadia. Too many I have games. a lot of games but on Stadia. Um, yeah, me it's, too. It's, it's not because of that. It's because I, I, this is just my perspective. I can't speak for the other person. I'm just trying to say that losing games is something that happens in the industry more than we want to admit. Yeah. Whenever you go from one generation to the next, you're losing the last generation games. <laughs> unless, well, you're yeah, on, less unless, so now. unless, unless you're on PC. Okay. No. Yeah, okay. But you said lesser now, which is true, but not 100% mm. of the games are. No, not 100%. You're right. 
games. You know what I'm saying? So if there's a game that I like playing, like NCAA fo college football, I cannot play that on this generation console. Right. So I lose that game. Unless I go to my old generation console. Oh, yeah. And by the way, nobody's online on those consoles playing it. Right? Exactly. I, I was going to say, the one thing that you know they do, they shut down the servers for the games. Too, right. So I lost well. the game. They'll be like, oh, but I got the physical copy. Yeah, but I got nobody to play with. I lost right. the game. So, so uh, no, I would not be happy about losing the games, but it'll just be just as aggravating as if, uh, you know, I went to walk outside and an ant bit my foot. You know, I, I'm, I'm pretty pissed <laughs> off, but yeah. it ain't going to kill me. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Oh. That's why I like the, I like buying games on Stadia because you don't have that that generation jump right like 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 oh uh there's the pay playstation 5 now your playstation 4 games not all of them will be playable exactly right. it, there's only one platform one generation it's the current generation and I, I don't think they will be like oh this new games are not playable anymore in this new generation oh, never. never right so right. isn't that like a good proposition when it comes to having a digital library steam Absolutely. does that right steam yep. your old games that you bought like five years ago they're still working you just have to install them yep. yeah well so, there's some games on steam that i have that have been removed because of the uh, that is a removal right right so right. just like okay um licensing problems and we don't mm -hmm. know how what what kind of licensing they have in Stadia. There's still a risk of games being removed, exactly. but we not, we'll see in the future. Yeah, that's a case that by case. Work. You know, we don't we yeah. know in a, in a, in a as as a whole or in, in a huge swath, we won't lose games like that. You know what I'm saying? There may be the mm -hmm. one and twos, but and that's yeah. again that's just business outside of the the platform itself. So, yeah, you know, yeah. But yeah, so Ian, you know the risk coming in games could come and go but at the same time it's still better than if you have a subscription netflix model where you all are always, always worried about yeah they're always worried about that yeah because they could pick and choose what they're going to remove and what they're going to keep mm -hmm. yeah. it's part of the, the whole business model mm -hmm. yeah but buying games it's not part of it it's just if if there's any bad, you know problem with the licensing, that's it. But it's not part of the whole business model. Yeah, to, to remove games. games out of your library, mm -hmm. games that you've already claimed, all of a sudden is gone. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. that's you not make part me, of you it. make me pay for your subscription, and then you force me to buy the game if I want to keep playing. Like that's raw mm -hmm. as fuck. And I think that's something else that Stadia should again, or Google should be focusing on heavily is their business model you know market the hell out of that shit and show the actual value in that you know you have the choice you know what i'm saying we're not forcing you into this shit man um mm -hmm. you know because it's overlooked people again they think it's they getting better value somewhere else and it's like mm, if you really don't care about your library and you just want to see a, a rotation of games and stuff like that and just pay a subscription and forget about it fine sure but realistically having the choice of having that uh you know description or purchasing a game is, is is personally to me i think is, is a way better um uh, model man like you can't yeah. beat that man yeah once options. they once they make the 4k into a non pro mm. tier mm. Subs um feature then i think i think a lot of people will really be into is that on service. the roadmap i'm not no I, no I, no, I, no but like 8k is on the roadmap so yeah. you would think mm. that once 8k sure. drops 4k could potentially be a free uh tier uh, it could go two uh, ways it could it be could. 4k would be the 10 and then the 8k would be a 15 you know what i'm saying or so yeah yeah that could mm -hmm. be a tier so we don't yeah. know or they could I'm drop it down you know you know because they have to compete right mm -hmm. once right once luna gets to 4k and it's part of their subscription fine but that's almost like the equivalent of having it on their free tier because there's no other there's no free tier for Luna, so mm -hmm. in order for um, for Google to to compete with that, if they can make the 4K into this just a normal feature of Stadia without any subscription, but the problem is, what would you add on the Pro subscription subscription to make it 
appealing to people so that's my only i uh, think but that's what i'm thinking like once 8k drops that could move into the free tier mm -hmm. it, okay. i don't think a lot of people still care about 8k right now no no it's, it's unrealistic to even ahead consider that. yeah it's, just... it's too too far ahead for that i don't even care if they don't have 8k in uh, three years yeah because that means you have to buy a new tv exactly yeah. Well, That's an 8K it. TVs aren't even, you know, exactly. regular consumer TVs. No. At, at least not for a number of years. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's true. And it's just an uh, one of those features, as I remember when I got my, my phone. Okay. Uh, you can record your videos in, in 1080p, but it's 30 FPS. It's one of right. those, you know, right. there's a compromise right. in still yeah, getting caveat. it right now. Right. So... Um, it's not like 4K now where oh, 4K 120 hertz. It's a norm, mm. but 8K is still a very niche. I don't product. know where you getting a uh, 4K 120 hertz, brother. Where, where, where that happening at? Uh, there, there are 20, 120 hertz now. Oh, you're talking about I mean, like televisions? Were, television, television. Oh, okay, not okay. The game, not, so because <laughs> like, because in order for at? you to get those, you have to get a TV that supports it, right? But yeah. right now when you buy them a tv those are the norm so yeah, it's very niche product right now 8k and i don't think it's gonna Absolutely. get supported anytime soon or or only like a very specific audience that would be able to do it right. much like the 4k when it was new exactly well when you when you got people out here collecting stimulus checks i don't think they're gonna be thinking about <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> five thousand dollar 8k television you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> wow, we gonna have a lot of new ballers out here, huh? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Texas blind, ain't they? Money falling from the sky. <laughs> 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 Tap dancing to the bank, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he done up and done it. He done up and done it. Oh my god! <laughs> but you know, know what? <laughs> you know the good thing that came out of this this blog post is that you know people have opened themselves up to new platforms and now sure. now they they would see the benefit of stadia mm -hmm. like okay yeah, cloud gaming uh, in what, general. yeah so yeah. people that tried now okay you know what stadia is probably not the only platform out there let's try gfn and then they see that oh i have to do this log in That's here log in there so they see that oh frank stadia you don't have to do this and they go back to it and see like okay you know what it's still a good platform I'm gonna stay with it and and not fall into this Synergy notion that, that, Sorry like, about that like when you when you try other other services you'll see the benefit of the one that you were using before so right. you're not gonna get into this whole like oh it's gonna be dead in x number of years it's, it'll be just like oh i now remembered why i like this platform and it's it's that con convenient for me so i'm just gonna stay and buy games for this platform instead but that would be the case by case basis too um for me that uh, i tried gfn i still like stadia a bit better mm -hmm. so it, there's no change for me now i'm still this is still my main platform yeah i mean i would imagine if you're in cloud gaming then stadia would definitely be i i you know i played them all man and um, it's just I the best it's yes, just it it's, just is the best period you know all the way around man and, yeah man like, we just tried to we just tried to play rocket league and then i was asking we were they were asking people oh are you on steam are you on on epic i like for stadia you just ask them do you have this game wow that's it and yeah. and it will work throughout you know your whole friends list and that's what i really appreciate about stadia having the the friends list the universal one so mm -hmm. it can work with all games so there are plus and minuses right. geforce now you get those those games that they don't have over here and, yeah and 
that's the good thing about the competition. They have plus and minuses, and you never know. Maybe yeah. Stadia in the future would copy the features from the other companies. Yeah, with GeForce, it's, it's, it's the great advantage for GeForce is like if you already are invested in PC gaming, there's a good portion of your library that could potentially be played over the cloud. You know, mm -hmm. as an alternative option, it's it's more of a portal. It's not, I don't I wouldn't consider it like a standalone. Mm -hmm. you know because you still yeah. have to go and it could be if you want parties. to yeah if, if yeah, maybe i don't know because i mean i don't see why they wouldn't you know what i'm saying that's how i started with not started with cloud gaming but that's the very first cloud gaming that i really liked oh geforce, GeForce now because mm -hmm. I, I tried to make it so that okay would this be a possible alternative to having a console mm -hmm. and it worked for me it worked yeah for GeForce me for a while. Is, it runs it really well it. yeah Mm -hmm. I mean, there are problems with it, but mm -hmm. it could yeah. be a platform you can play. Or... The only problem right now is after the beta, they lost a lot of publishers. And, right. And that's probably the, the the worst negative that I could think of when it comes Super to Super uncertain, now, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, uncertain. Very uncertain, right. yeah. You don't know what games are coming in or out. Right. They don't probably know that too because it's up to the publishers. So, it was like um, it's like MM said. I, uh, he said the same thing. Okay, I've been, I was on GeForce now since the year uh, 2016, oh, 2017. So I was yeah. on that when it was when it only had just like you said when it only had like only a handful of games in, in its beta form. Mm -hmm. So you know when they when they fully came out, you know, fully uh, released. And everybody was like, oh man, yeah, GeForce now. I'm like, yeah, I was on that platform for a long time. You remember yep. uh, they had the uh, the video pro? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Connected mm -hmm. to your television? Yeah, I, yeah that's I where there. I played it. That's yeah, where that's where, exactly. Yeah. I, I was there in like, throughout years. the beta. Oh my yeah. God, it was so good. Yeah, and so <laughs> now, you know, when I was playing, and then, I, then, then Stadia comes at, and I'm like, wow, I've never seen something this smooth play this well, right. and only been out for a year and some change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When GeForce Now has been out since the year 2015, and I'm yeah. not picking on, I'm not picking on GeForce right. Now. I'm just saying that it's been out for a while, so that's the reason why it has the bigger libraries, things like that. It's been in beta for five years. Yeah. Um, Google didn't even go into beta; they just went straight out. Well, how how long yeah, was Project the Stream around? Yeah, it was like an alpha for a year. No, it's been a long, yeah, it, uh, for a year, and it's cl a very close beta right yeah it was, a, it was a closed alpha yeah so it's it's not like luna where uh, it's a, a, almost accessible to everyone as long as you're in the u.s and you get the, the invite but project stream i don't know i i never really heard about it until <laughs> yeah the stadia announcement right. really right yeah Same. So yeah, I mean, so, it, it just shows you the level of uh, work they got put into that platform and, and how far ahead it is, man. So again, if you're yeah, if you're into cloud gaming, there's no reason you wouldn't <laughs> fuck around with Stadia, man. It's just no reason. Yeah. If you like true. Luna, then you should be messing around with Stadia. If you like GFN, you should be giving Stadia a chance, you know. Yeah. I mean, um. Yeah. The yeah, you you get plus and minuses on all the services, and mm -hmm. I think we are in a good position now that we have a choice on what kind of exactly. business model they're not just copy pasting each other like yeah. mm -hmm. some of those things that the console manufacturers are doing i mean mm -hmm. i'm not saying that all of them are copy pasted but they they play very similarly but for cloud gaming you have a choice of the business model and and i think that's a good thing the only problem right now is there are more there are more providers or are uh, uh, console uh, runners that are clamoring for the exclusive rights to games. So games are now all over the place because mm -hmm. it could be on 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 Luna, but because of timed exclusivity, it's not going to be on GFN or Stadia or whatnot. So <laughs> exclusive rights are good, but at the same time, they're bad for for the industry as well because you're alienating some of the people that wants to play just wants to play the game mm -hmm. uh, i'm 50 50 on exclusivity it's just for bragging rights really 
Yeah, yeah. In most cases, you see the numbers reflected for sure. Yeah. I'm not talking about the first party. I mean, the third party exclusivity. Mm. Oh, bad. Party, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, getting those, uh, yeah, yeah, time yeah, like, and things of that nature. Like, yeah. yeah. So, for, for example, Guild, it's good for Stadia if you're a gamer there, but if you're on other platforms, sometimes it's. It's sad that they, they, they're not willing to play it because it's on Stadia. I see what you're they're saying. missing out on good games. Yeah, fair enough. That's a ridiculous thing to be act. That's, that's a ridiculous way to act, man. I, I don't care where you go on it. As long as you treat your platform well and, and make good games, that's, that's all I care about. I don't, I don't connect platforms to me. I, 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 I just have fun with it. That's it. Yeah, and I mean, I, everybody knows I'm a huge, huge Nintendo fan, of course. But again, I, I, I the same thing, man. If, if if they don't make something I don't like or I don't agree with it, I'm just not gonna fuck with it, and I move on. And when they bring something well, that I like, then I, I jump right back on and enjoy the games there, and that's it. I'm that's always be honest enough, about like, the, the platforms, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna sit there and be. Yeah, but we should also respect the people that can only. Uh, afford one oh that's a different that's a different that's right. a different thing, so affording yeah. for sure but, yeah. but what if what if you built your whole persona and like life around one platform and like that's yeah, like that's your choice that's all you wear yeah, <laughs> that's, that's your that's choice a, that's, that's tough man that's putting all your eggs in one basket uh -huh. right that's a choice you know nobody forced you to google didn't force you to say hey man we're guaranteeing your whole career or whatever you're trying to build yeah, yeah, it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. so that's your choice you know so i mean i can't get mad yeah, it's uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's your choice. Yeah, like I said, it's your choice to stay that platform. So don't be all salty if something <laughs> yeah. happens to it, because you should know the risk of staying on one platform. And that's where the console wars comes in too, right? They just mm -hmm. try, trying to justify their purchases. Their, yeah. And it's hard to also get rid of the friends list that you accumulated over the yeah. span of time that you have, you know, been playing on that platform. So I'm not, I'm not really gonna fault those people that are really attached to their consoles. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to it's build another one. one. Attached and like literally saying to the other guys, "Hey, your sucks ass." Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. right. You trash. Like you, you don't that, suck yeah. because of that. Yeah. But people get caught into like doing that, and I find it funny because, like, you get so salty that you now attack con uh, mobile gamers, yeah, just right. because they're not playing yeah. the same games as you. And mobile playing. gamers are like, "Yo, I don't care. I'm just yeah, trying to play exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're the only one that's mad. They don't right. care." Yeah, and I get there's people out there who are satirical. It's comedy. You're having fun, shit like that. But no, nah, there's we know the difference between those people and the people who are really like out here bugging. Like, dude, get, get the fuck out of here. And then when your when your platform of choice does something like I said that you don't necessarily agree with, you get all extra bugged out because they people are making fun of you now. Like, dude, chill the fuck out. <laughs> like, I, I you know just tune out, just tune out if you see that people are trying to make fun of you. Yeah, man. Like, what? Bippy, you still in here? Yeah, man, I was I was just about to say uh, I'm gonna have to leave because I gotta yeah, do this sure. homework. All right, so oh, man. man, the show. It's the most responsible of all of us. For real, this man is on his way to a billion. For real. I know, right? Straight up. <laughs> I wish. I... Sure. All right, all right, Sam. Yeah. Thanks for America. dropping for sure, in. Brother. Absolutely. All right, peace out, y'all. Yeah. Right, peace. 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 Yeah, man. But even saying that, you know, uh, uh, I don't think the platform is just going to die. No. I, I don't think, think so it's... either, man. I don't think there's any reason to get yeah, all... I'm more concerned about the people I uptight. play with than the platform itself. Because people can also disperse. Like, you, you're, it's not guaranteed that everyone will be playing the same yeah. you know, platform. You, there would be some disconnect after, after Stadia would disappear knock on wood right yeah, you know you know uh like 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 i said uh say say stadia disappeared tomorrow uh your youtube page doesn't, doesn't disappear tomorrow. yeah right discord's you still know, going this store is yeah. still going 
you know it's what you make it's what you make out of it yeah you know it's yeah. like hey hey guys uh god dang man steady just uh got drunk and uh fell off the ledge hey uh, so what you guys gonna See do? See you never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You know, I'll screw you, I'm asshole. Right. I ain't fucking yeah. with you yeah. anymore. But, yeah. but see, but see, if you if you think of it, if you think of it at that in that perspective, when it, it, it helps you have it, it helps you have more of a good time on the device because you're not connected to its failures or successes. You're just right. just coming along for you're the ride. There to have fun, right? And that is, that is why I like the the concept of having every game to be cross play so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about okay we both have this game but mm -hmm. we both we have different consoles so we can't even play so you if you if we have cross play you can you can play without worrying about that but right now we still have that issue and and i'm just afraid that you know we won't be able to like play just because of of, of the platform we're playing on. Right. Yeah, and you know, I think a lot of it has to do with how everybody looks at it in this room. Too. Like, okay, uh, uh, Roy, you said that you haven't played a, a, a console since Xbox 360 era, right? Right. And 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 six four and and and, and I are both on PC. And and, and what about you, uh, Chris? Uh, uh, Me my platform yeah yeah uh, like how long has it been since you even wanted to mess with the platform sir can you repeat that how long am i what uh, so, like what's your platform of choice like before oh. stadia what would you uh, Stadia? Would you, yeah. um well well you really wasn't uh, on the platform like the stadia just get you back into gaming well i do have the switch um, okay. okay i had the ps4 but before stadia i stopped playing my ps4 just okay. because of how loud it is and <laughs> i dropped, out of, I dropped uh, out of gaming for a little bit and because the, the, there's no excitement for me when it comes to the games uh they're oh, i don't know like they're all the same for me and i just want the diablo game and the switch really the switch is fun for me because i like the port portability of it I can play anywhere and sometimes that's my problem with the PS4 I would have to really steal the TV because mm -hmm. if someone wants to watch on the TV I would have to oh crap sacrifice my gaming yeah. and I really don't like that at um, the fact that and the and the thing is a lot of times the TV is being used and I don't want to I don't yeah. want to like take that privilege of watching TV just because I I won a game. Okay, so so, so basically, because okay, so what I was trying to get to is we're all in here, and we all see gaming from a, a perspective that's completely different from how some people are in this generation consoles. You see gaming that's like right. we're so we're not yeah. a part of the yeah. fanboy mm -hmm. attitude because all of us come at gaming. Uh, uh, we we all approach gaming with pretty much a, more of a mature composure. Okay, we're more. We have better. Uh, 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 we don't lose our composure when it comes to what we play. We don't care, right? Right. right. So, from that perspective, how we're talking to here, this is why it's easy for us to be able to say, "Yeah, we can overlook or we can look deeper into articles compared to people who are sold to a platform and and, and make it to its uh, and create it as its its, its identity. That that's their identity." Right. Because yeah. the reason why I asked you that, uh, Chris, is because mm -hmm. everyone in here did not associate themselves with a console. And I was listening to that closely. Like, Six right. didn't, I didn't, Roy didn't, you didn't. You did not, no, none of us in here associated ourselves with the actual console. Now, we said, now Six said he had a, his favorite console, which was Nintendo. Nintendo. Mm -hmm. But he said he doesn't mind getting on if he has to. The thing is, we've all sat in here and said that we really don't care. We just want to have fun. Yeah. That's that it. is the healthy approach, and, and, and that's and that's why it's easy to talk right now amongst each other because we all see this from a healthy perspective. As we're just mm -hmm. trying to do it to have fun. Yeah. And yeah. compared to the very aggressive, there's a very aggressive, you know, fanboy community out there that is like they're they're die hard for a certain platform. And my fear was that some of that was going to start creeping into this platform. Right. And and, and, and yeah, exactly. yes, and and and. Man, you know I said this to Demaculus. I was like, man, what yeah. the fuck? 
Well, you know what I told you? You know what I told you um, when we were talking? I said, I told, uh, I told uh, Six, I said, after this report, watch. I said, there are going to be people who are going to fall off. Yeah. Because of this. And I said, there are going to be people who are going to stick with the platform regardless. They're not going to feel comfortable. They're going to stick with it. Mm-hmm. I said, you're going to find out who had their heart in it and who didn't. <laughs> so, I mean, right. but, but the thing is, it's, it's like being a fanboy is so self-destructive. Yep. It yeah. just doesn't have any real, real benefit. There's no benefit. There's no yeah. benefit. Not one. Yeah. Like but how, here's how, how I how can't I even see. have fun, bro. Like, why are you exactly. doing this shit, Exactly. Like, you bro? can't have fun with that, man. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to have fun, bro. <laughs> but here's how I, how, how I, well, just my own situation, right? So, if I'm looking at the... Uh, choice of platform it's more of okay i tried everything else this is the one that i like the business model works for oh, me. for no. cloud cloud gaming i mean not the console because console and everyone's used to the console but i don't like subscription service like luna mm-hmm. gfn it's 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 good but you have the compromise of Okay, um, you're not gonna get the console experience, hundred percent. So, my only, right. the only thing that's sad for me about losing this platform is that I'm gonna lose the, the platform I chose because of the business model, and now I'm forced to now go back to the traditional ones that I have, which is the console. I could go with. Shit. Switch, I could go with uh, my friggin' unopened PS5, but mm. is that a flex? <laughs> unopened PS5? Oh, no. no, he been saying that. He been saying that since What's the up? damn thing launched. Like yeah, it's, it's really unopened. just like, like, but you know what? It's just he just uh, like I don't really care for it. That's really what he's I saying. Don't, I don't. It's still unopened right now, but <laughs> he's he's now I'm thinking of maybe I should now because, because of. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, now I'm thinking of opening it now because of Yeah, this. I'd be thinking to open it when I got it. What the fuck? <laughs> right. right. What is going on? He said he's uh, flexing on him. So my no, shit's still in I the box, it's, bro. I think Crispy. That's the main reason why I stopped playing my PS4 because I think at the end of the day, I'd prefer to be able to game wherever or whichever screen I have. Yeah, sure. no, it yeah. makes sense. And, and just too lazy to set up my TV again and then. Uh, I, uh, to be honest, I'm just gonna play PS4 games on it. <laughs> right. I'm not even after the PS5 games right now because I'm not normally the type of person that gets something day one. I was actually just excited about playing my PS4 games without the loud fan. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Might right. as well buy a PS5 since it's here, yeah. Yeah, that's the only reason like, I don't want to get a new PS4 Pro that's because there's a, a, a different version that's quieter, but I don't want to mm-hmm. buy that. I just want I want a, a system that's quiet, mm-hmm. but I still like the Switch very much. I would rather have this buy, to buy games on the Switch than on my PS4. So um, I'm not attached to this Stadia game uh as a platform but i'm attached to the friends list that i have and people i play with right now right yeah. and that's the, that's what i'm saying that's a healthy way of looking at it look i understand that there are people in the community that are worried about where state is going to be and i understand that people also use that to get views mm-hmm. to the concerns feeding into the fears of yeah. people so they can keep watching them right. i understand that that's their that's their mo Yep. They can have it and have fun with it. Yeah, because I was going to say this too real quick, man. Um, uh, some people, they you know, they, they act like they're really staying around for Stadia because they're not going to bend because you were mentioning how some people are going to fall off. Some people are already, have already shown that they're, they've fallen off of the platform, but they're sticking around because it, it, it helps them get views. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, sorry, go ahead, continue. So, no, no it is like you say, so... If uh, we to say that it's a business, well, you're getting views as a business, right? So you're doing what right. you got to do as a business. So you should understand Stadia is a business, right? Here's the thing. Shit. Here's the thing, man. I 
have more respect for the, like I said, for the people who go ahead and put the, put the stuff out there in the face and be, be neutral about things. And instead of trying to feed into the fears of people, um, putting out stuff that are half-baked, mm -hmm. that I have documents, amongst documents to prove that are not correct, um, just to feed into people's uh, uh, views, I mean fears. And um, right. that's, why, that's why I see corruption. That's, that's where I, I have drawn my line and say, hey, man, you know, that's, you know, come on. That's, that's, For real. My opinion, that's just not cool. I, I'm trying to build a community to have fun, or you're trying to find a way to edge the community so you can get views, or maybe it's something else. I'm not sure. Right. But um, that's what I mean when I say that I, I fear that the fanboyism is coming, is creeping in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's like, are you here to have fun or are you here just to always report negativity? Yep. You know what it is. Yeah, and that's why I like those people that also I know they're they're trying their you know, fanboy or not. They're they're always bringing the the positive and, and everything that's going on. And sometimes you need that too because because I know it's uh, fanboyish to sometimes be too positive, but no, no, it's can, not right. Like if you can bring people back into you know why they're playing this in the first place, then I don't see anything wrong with that. And I gotta ask you a question, though, Chris. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't mind, <laughs> why do you think it's too fanboyish? Positive, like too positive. Yeah, because I'm uh, saying you calling me a stadium fanboy, Chris? Cause I thought I was trying to be, you know what I'm saying? You just came up here and just called me a fanboy and shit, bro. He's like, I waited three hours just so I could let this man know you fanboying, bro. You fanboying. Uh, 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 I think it's just the perception of it from outside eyes. Like, um, oh, this, this, new, and, and this is how some people from the people I watched, how they saw this one. Like, Oh, they're they're twisting this into this positive, or they're thinking this is a positive news. I'm like, they don't. Like, they're just looking at it on a different different perspective as yours. But doesn't mean doesn't mean they're they're twisting this into a good news. So right. my only thing is, they see that as fun boyism, but nah, for man. me, they're just trying to make sense of it and you know what you know what true fanboyism is in my eyes man right but Let's talk about it when stadia comes out and say they're closing the doors and people still come out and stick up for it after that now you're a fanboy because the the negativity is facing you and you're right. still being too you're like optimistic about the platform they just say they're closing it down it, i could it, disagree it, a little I, bit with that because uh go ahead. like for example the uh dreamcast there are still some people that really likes the system. Hell oh, yeah. no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it's not, different. It's not. That, it's not liking the system. That, that's not what I mean. Um, if Stadia shuts down, I'll tell the person that I still like the system. Right. I'm saying that if they shut down and I'm still sticking up for them, like saying, oh, it's well, the only reason they shut down is yeah. because a certain thing, you know, complete damage control. Right. Other than dog, uh -huh. dog, the dog. Platform. Like, for instance, the whole uh, crackdown fiasco where it was supposed to be this oh, huge yes. wild gaming worldwide yes. full yeah, world yeah, destruction. Yeah, yeah. And it came out yes. and it was like a 19. It was like a 2001 game at best. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people are like, oh, it's, it's so great. It's so, it's so awesome. Like, dude, no, no. If we were, if it were to be announced as that, and it wasn't supposed to be anything else other than that, okay, fine. It's a great classic style, you know, platform right. and shooter or whatever. But it was not that. That's they lied to us. Like, that's a yeah. that's a real, like actual, that. total lie. And you still yeah. over there, like, oh man, you just hating. This is great. This is amazing. I'm like, no, that's fanboying. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, should at least exactly. be able to say like. Yeah, they fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, I was exactly. expecting something totally different. Now, as a classic yeah. game, okay, I enjoy it, but I'm actually pissed that this shit did not come out as what they said it was, and I'm not gonna yeah. hold stand up for them on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of that's shit exactly what I was trying or, to say. Right? Yeah, there. or like okay, Nintendo's great company. They make great consoles, whatever, but the the Wii U was trash. Like, you got to be honest and say it was garbage, and that's why it didn't do well, and they moved on. Like, don't be right. sitting here lying, like. It was the fucking greatest console ever, dude. That shit was garbage. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But the people, yeah. the fanboys will, will fucking fight you tooth and nail. Say it was the greatest fucking. That's like, dude, shut up. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, it's yeah. not the. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing ever. No. It's, right. uh, it's it has its own 
uh, plus and minuses. Sure, it know. had it brought some good things, but dude, let's be honest. Like, yeah, it wasn't the greatest Nintendo console. <laughs> no, not even so, close. Uh, so I mean, that, that's what I mean right there. Is uh, that's why I don't see that as being fanboy because the reason is you have the positive people that you were talking about, Chris. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that's actually trying to bring balance into it because right. they see that there is a ton of negativity out there. So they're trying to be balanced by showing people that there is a positive side to the story too. Yeah. The only thing that I remember being reported when the first news came out was negativity. Mm. And that's why those people who were reporting positive things to you, the, the people you watch, they were trying to balance the slow down. They weren't being fanboys. They were being, they were being truthful. Yeah. Like they're literally there was nothing there to show that the platform is shutting down. I'm exactly. still waiting on somebody to show me proof that the platform shutting down. Yeah. Right, can't fuck with you on that. Yeah, I on that. I, when I read the blog post after digesting all the words and what's being said, I honestly didn't even see the white label thing that everyone's talking oh my about. God. Like, I, don't, I don't understand this white like, labeling thing. What's that all about? It so much, right? like, what's that all on. about? What's this white label thing you're talking about? What's, what's that? It's like they're saying like, oh, they'll be licensing the tech to other companies. I, 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 I didn't, didn't see that in the article. The blog post. I didn't when see that. So, yeah. um, uh, um, are they like overanalyzing what they say? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, the, that's what you call overanalyzing. Yeah, jumping digging. to conclusions. Yeah, that's, you know that's what I'm digging. saying? That's digging. That's yeah, digging. You know, that's, yeah. you know, you know, that's, you know that's, a, uh, uh, that's a technique that uh, a lot of people in media, mainstream media, mm -hmm. um, do to try to uh, conjure up something that doesn't exist for conversation. And they do it uh, with a smile on their face, saying that they're right. looking out for you. Right. And 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 honestly, bro, you got to be careful of that because yep. because when somebody got to conjure something up, and they say that they're looking out for something and they're pulling something completely out of context, you kind of got to take what they say with a grain of salt. Absolutely. Because because the, because the thing is that if you're looking at what they're looking at and you don't see what they see it is not as clear as day then automatically the, the bells should start ringing yeah they're trying to steer you and and yeah. that and and that's what that's what i mean when i said it it, it it worries me it's almost like um y'all remember that movie rocky three you remember rocky three yeah, yeah, yeah you reference this movie a lot by the way but go ahead yeah i i, 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 I love the rocky <laughs> movies by the way like, well, anyway <clears throat> now you good you good you good y'all Man, yeah, Rocky three, I remember when Mickey was watching. Now, Mr. T is my favorite. He's one of my favorite dudes, bro. And I, sure. I grew up, grew up with Mr. T. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, you do not food, make anyway. fun of a man's <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, here we go. Key and Peele. So when Mickey was watching Mr. T, he was like, he was watching him. He was like, oh man, I, 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 I don't like what I see here. Mm. And he went to, you know, Rocky, and he was like, ah, oh, this guy's taking it serious. I, I think you need to take this guy serious. And he was like, ah, oh, I got him. You know, I got him. Mm. You know, long story short, Mr. T knocked him out, and then he had to fight back home. When I'm sitting back and watching mm. some of these people on the stream, I feel like Mickey. Mm. I'm like, I, I, I don't like what you're saying, man. It's, what you're saying is very misguiding, and, and I'm not thinking that your intentions are in the right place. Right. And so it, if your intentions are in the right place – then you're steering the narrative. And if you're steering the right. narrative, then I'm starting to think sheep and wolf clothing. Right. Like if, if you really uh, wolf with sheep clothing, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, wolf and sheep clothing, my bad. Yep. If you thanks for correcting me. If you if sure. you're if you're really for something, you're going to not you know, not be Mickey Mouse positive. That's not what we're talking about. Right. But you're going to at least try to steer them to a to what they can see in the report like like i said i pulled the report up and i read it storm i remember storm said the same thing yesterday six project storm said the same thing he actually led the report and that's when he saw things different there you go from what was being reported if you're a person that puts yourself on the screen i'm expecting you to do what i just did if you're going to if you're going to report anything serious right when i came on here and spoke earlier what did i do guys i pulled up an article multiple articles and i read them I read the articles. I didn't create it. I read them verbatim. I read the articles, and then I can send you the links to them. And then we had a discussion off of it. I'm exactly. not going to take something, twist it, and steer you in a way where I think you should be thinking like I'm thinking. Right. And that that's that's when I have a problem because you're you're not doing it for the for the clarity of of of, of 
trying to confront, find out what's going on. You're trying to fix the narrative. Mm-hmm. And if you're trying to fix the narrative, then I have to ask you a question. Why are you trying to fix the narrative at that angle? Right. Mm-hmm. Because then you're causing confusion and discourse in the community. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then if I, if you're doing that, then I got to ask you, are you having fun doing this? Right. Like, is this where you catch your, get your kicks? Yep. Because in reality, guys, I'm telling you right now, a lot of the stuff that was said about Stadia negative, negative, negatively over the over the weekend, uh, over the week was not in the article. Yeah. Right. They're just making up like hypotheticals. Because exactly. here's what, how I read the whole thing. Okay. And if there's any concerns, there is uh, legit ones because here's how I read it. Right. For this year, they're not going to invest on their first party studio right. but the preview the, the previous like set games if not all most of them will still be there because mm-hmm. they already said that 2021 is set mm-hmm. now my only concern is because they did say that they're bringing publishers in my only concern is the 2022 right but if I know that they're investing on the publishers <laughs> and just themselves, <Roy>. sorry <laughs> and I wouldn't be mad at that. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm my if my only concern is what are we, what will be those games that uh, they could get for 2022? That could be an exciting thing too, because that means they're gonna push hard into getting the third party skin. So it doesn't mean it's dying. It's just they're pivoting on their focus for 2021. Exactly. And the unknown would be the 2022. Right. But I don't exactly. see anything that says, oh, it's going to die after a year. It's just yeah. saying that <laughs> there will be a different kind of 2022 outlook. And yeah. for me, more games, third party games. What's so bad about that? Not... You're absolutely correct, Chris. Yeah. What you read is exactly how it was put out. I mean, That's I, exactly I don't... how it was put out. Of course, I don't, I don't, we I don't wanted to see can... exclusive first party games. Of course. Yeah. But damn, when you put it like that, Google, I totally understand what you're saying and I get it. And realistically, that's the best move you could fucking make. Congrats to you. A little upsetting, but uh, I appreciate the news. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I see that you're doubling down. You're being, you're so serious about what you got going on. Like you said, Demaculous, that we were willing to go ahead and put out the support, knowing that it may be received negatively, but we know that what we're doing is good. Like that shows real confidence in the platform. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and them staying, Staying, uh, sticking with it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, to I, be honest, I respect that. I thought that it was shit. transparent of them to absolutely, yeah. man, absolutely. Bring this blog post and because I, they could just be, you know, uh, silently. There you go, yeah, that's why I was saying to Roy, I was like, shit, why, why ain't they just quietly shut that, you know, because they know yeah. they're doing the right thing. And look, all I ask from them at this point is deliver, all right? That's it, that's Put it. Put it out there, that's, deliver, right? that's, that's cool, it. just that's deliver because I'm having yeah. a good time. And you mean to tell me some of the games that I would ultimately have to get on my PC or a PlayStation or whatever, or a Switch. If you're gonna have those there, dude, I will buy them there. You know what I'm saying? Or here, you know what I'm saying? Because, and if, and, if, and if you're saying that, hey, you're gonna start focusing on making sure those features are implemented into the games that we cry to have them on, like, yo, this would be so good on, on this game. You know, we, if, it, if they did this or did that, you're gonna do that? Deliver, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll be here, I'm cooling, I'm chilling. Yeah. You know and what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, yeah. What, I'm, that's yeah. what I'm waiting that's on. All that's all I've spoken about. Yeah. yeah. Delivered, and it's man. bad to say that, oh, I'm not going to buy my games here anymore. No. But here's the thing, too, right? Here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing. They said they're focusing on putting the funds into getting the publishers in. If you're right. going to stop buying the games, then what does that say? Like, you're not, you don't have trust in them doing that, what they said. Right. So the, well, you- the money that you pay for new games will be used to get more third-party publishers in. If you stop uh, paying, then of well, course the platform will, will die because of you as well. Because you there, know, There's people that are saying that they're going to stop buying the game. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll be the person to say it. I think a lot of them are saying that because of the influences that they've gotten from the other people supporting this thing negatively. Right. Um, I think they got to the point, look, if I didn't read the article, and I'm being straight up, if I didn't read the article and all I did was listen to what these people were saying, I would be saying the exact same thing. Facts. 
I would have yep. been like, I ain't buying no game. I ain't going to do nothing. Because I would have been going off of that energy. Right. Yeah. But The emotions. Exactly. The emotional the roller coaster there. Yep. But when you, when, once you read the article and you realize what's going on, then that's when you're like, oh, can I see what they're doing? But see, the, the, the problem is that's not how it was being broadcast to the masses. Not at all. It was being broadcast to the masses as extremely negative. Now, what got me disappointed was when the people that – I don't, I'm not. I'm gonna stop talking about that because I, I myself don't want to be an instigator. So I'll just say, I just think that that w- what needs to happen is the more of the the truth needs to come out about what was said, and 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 not uh, the idea or theory that uh, this is all bad news. This can go either yeah. way. You know, either this, way, this right. is not this is not good or bad news. This is just news. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just so, a move you know. And yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's bad news if you want exclusive. Okay. I'm not going to front. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still not bad news because they said they're going to continue supporting well, third party. And the last company they said that they were going to do that for was the Cyberpunk. And look what happened. Yeah. It yeah. could be good news. We could get more better exactly. third yeah. party games. It could be right. Actually exactly. Good news. Exactly. So this exactly. is a, this is put it this. We'll say it this way. This is a good pivot. Because now they can make that that jump shot. You know what I'm saying? Now they can make as long the as damn that's slam. what they do. Exactly, yes, exactly. exactly. So that's all they exactly need to do right now is exactly. deliver. Yeah. That's it. So and it's, they were clear yeah. what they want to do that that to get third party, right? Yeah, exactly. Clear. That's all we've been begging for more than anything else. We've been like, yo, we want these third. We want this game. We want that game. It'll be a big thing if they make this game the next announce. Every game motherfuckers have been talking about. Over and over and over have been third party games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, so, if they don't deliver, then hey, we're now we got another conversation. Then we're going to just be exchanging gaming tags on a different platform. There you go. All. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, yeah. shit, I'm playing that, but I'm playing it over here, yeah. man. What you, you want to play? Yeah. You know, oh, it's cross play over here, so we can go ahead. Hey, fuck it. And this would be my, and this is 1 million percent just speculation, but mm. I feel like what happened with the first party studio is that, you know, when. You know, Jade Raymond, right? She left, and I feel like mm-hmm. all these vision of having the first party games, and of course there would be a um, proposition of okay, this would how much it'll cost to do this project, and I think what happened is um, it became more expensive, way more expensive than they initially uh, proposed, because you're starting a new studio, that means you need. Um, you need something that would be handling the audio side. You need something that you need to handle the the graphic side. And because of COVID, you can't really work with your team closely. And that's a big problem for new studios, right? Like uh, it's harder to communicate. It's harder to to really make a game that you really want if you're not with your team. So right. people are probably working from home now, and yeah, they saw uh, that as a big barrier. Into, and then you're gonna spend more money. Like people are working from home, that's more expensive. So maybe my speculation is maybe they saw the cost of making this game, and plus the COVID situation, and they saw that it's gonna be way more expensive than they initially thought. That's fair. That's so, fair. It might be, uh, and and Jade Raymond, because this is her vision, right? Having the first party, she might have left because uh, she really wanted to push this this first party studio hard, and she mm-hmm. might have been, you know, upset with the decision made by the higher ups, which is a fair, you know, uh, fair thing to really feel about because you care about your team, right? You, you, well, Chris, you make some good points, man. You should have your own dag on too. We talk about that, man. Or I mean, or I mean, but that's what make more sense than what's been thrown out there, man. You know. I mean, yeah, or, or maybe you know, since they don't have this, you know, the studios. I mean, she's or she's non-essential at this point. You know, she doesn't have to lead anyone, so. And that too, right? It's not. It may not even be like emotional. You know what I'm saying? But it could just be like, okay, well, there's no need to to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and move where my my skills are needed. You know? Maybe they said uh, that. Okay, would you like to move to a different department? She said no to that. Right. Yeah. You know. She she knows what she wants to do, but right. if it's not the same as what she wants, then she's out of there. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. 
it's sad, but you know, it happens. The reality man. Of it, it happens. It's yeah. Part of the Exactly, it happens, it happens oh, dude. Like this Google ain't no history. monster. How dare you come into gaming and do something yeah. that every company in gaming does? Oh I God! Because you just—I mean, you just remember <laughs> remember the articles I read about uh, Amazon, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> if I would send that article to you and you read the whole article, man, you'll be thinking kind of funny. I would. I'm even like, God, God dang, what you guys doing over there? And 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 I'm not here to bash Amazon Luna. I'm not here to do that. So please don't, don't take it that way. I'm just trying to balance the load. If you're going to talk bad about one platform, talk bad about both platforms. Man. Don't just talk bad about one, because Amazon has a lot of demons itself. So mm -hmm. you know that, that, this is this is the reason I, I brought that article up is because I, my question is if a person was to report something and be fair about it, right? How did they miss that article? Right. Because it's right there, cloud gaming. It's right there. How did they miss that article? There's multiple articles about this going to speak about one platform and then speak about another platform and if you want to hold yourself as somewhat of an authority of speaking on these platforms then i'm i'm expecting you to to, to dig you know what i'm saying right so you can get people the proper oh proper God. information if you're going to go that route go that route with both because if you're telling me well this is better and it's better because it's a better proposition because no 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 wait 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 wait, wait. Uh, first of all, can you give me or back up why you think it's better other than the tech? What, what, what else do you know? What else do you have? What, what are your documentations on this? And if you don't have those documentations, Come on now. automatically I think you're funny about something. <laughs> you a beast in the drifting, you know. 500,000, bro. I ain't getting mad at you. Oh, that's, better, you know, that that's why I don't mess with Ray Flawless, man. That's why I stay silent around me. <laughs> Yeah, he, he over there eating, you know what I'm saying? He Second worldwide, baby. What's Ooh. going on? Uh, 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 damn. You gotta, you gotta do hey, it again. Hey, damn. Jack, hey, Jack, this spot. is a man that didn't play video games since Xbox 360 years. He's destroying right. it. He is destroying know, right? it. Straight killer. Good lord. Oh my god. Destroying it, guys. Goodness. I know Roy glad we're doing the drift. He's like, oh, yes, finally. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm leading in this thing, bro. Hell yeah, I'm gonna destroy this right for it. Bro, you gotta enjoy that because after they shut down the whole thing, you're right. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, hey, yeah. Yeah. Get, you know, you can't uh, have this shit because it's going down, oh, man. It's over. Picture. This thing going down, baby. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny, man, because, um, you know, that whole thing came out. People got all upset. And the next thing, um, what is it? The Journey to the Savage Planet dropped and I played that and I was like having so much fucking fun. I'm like, damn, you know, yeah. the stadium is great. I'm just I wouldn't even you know, I, it wasn't even a, really a thought in my mind. That's why, again, I, w I didn't jump out to hurry up and get the views and let me say something. You know, I just, you know, put my little thoughts on Twitter. It was crazy because uh, I didn't even learn about this shit that was happening you know the news yeah, until right. somebody on twitter that apparently talked to me in 2019 and was talking down <laughs> on stadia apparently told me it's going to be trash or whatever sends me a tweet and says i talked to you in 2019 and i told you stadia's gonna be trash ha 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 look at this and i'm like okay who the fuck is this guy first of all you know what I'm saying? Like I literally don't know who they are. Waiting, sitting waiting, bro. Uh, That's crazy, bro. Like I've been on your mind that long, bro. Okay. That's cool. You know, whatever. Hey. You didn't say that when Cyberpunk came out. Right, yeah, but yeah, quiet when that shit came had Nothing to say then, you know. But then this comes out and I read it. Yeah, and I read it and I'm like I'm like, oh, okay. So they're folks redirecting their focus on building the platform out, making sure it works better and focusing on supporting third parties what is the fucking problem like like what, what's the what's the big deal to show that this is garbage like it doesn't i'm not and they never responded it was stupid as hell i'm like damn you waited that long just to tell me some news that's like pretty neutral if you ask me at this point you know what i mean like oh yeah, okay either good or bad it's yeah it's just like oh okay, there's, we'll there's see, a change we'll the yeah. yeah it's like there's a change to the company okay we're looking to get more third big third party AAA support and a uh, stronger uh, <laughs> foundation and yeah just to cloud gaming what what is what's trash exactly never responded I, I was like dude that's that's crazy you waited that long just to 
really not have anything to say. Damn. Yeah, he, had thing, he, had, he had his thing on badnewsgoogleralert.com. Uh, I can't wait to inform this LXIV guy, whatever that means. Uh, I got you on my playlist for a reason, buddy. Hey, hit me on Twitter. I don't, I don't know if he's following me or not following me. Yeah, you know, I, I've never seen this guy before. I, but apparently we had a conversation, so I don't know. He said, I'm going to follow this fool because it's going to all come crashing down. Yeah, hey, I can't yeah. wait to let him know. I was like, wow. Yeah, he'll be like, I told you 2019 and I yeah. confirmed it in 2021. See what right. happened. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Yeah, I know you're talking to you. You're not listening. You lose, asshole. He was like, yeah, you're looking dumb as fuck right now. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who is this guy? I would have cracked up laughing if I saw that. I was dying, bro. I was like, who the fuck like, is this man, guy, bro? <laughs> For real, bro. Damn, because I like to play my games over here too. That really upsets you, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, you man, really man, need man. to get your man, life in man. order, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, like, I'm coming in like, you know, prophet, like, man. I'm only telling you. I'm only telling you what's happening. You know, <laughs> you know man. You know, 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 You having fun yeah. with your stadium. How dare you have fun with that stadium? I could oh. not believe that shit. I'm like, man, like, I was gonna say, you know, we, you know, again, one, one major, major takeaway again. I, I just want to drive it on, man. Well, two things I'm gonna add to that. First of all, yeah, like Macla said, do not get too emotionally attached to this stuff. Don't, don't invest in it as if it's actually a part of you. You know, it's not. This is outside of you. Um, secondly, make sure you got your own, your personal affairs in order before you get out here and start speaking on these social media platforms because that shit seeps out into into whatever's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? Like people be hurting and they want to go out and take it out on somebody. They, they use these spaces to go hurt people. And that's where a lot of the fanboyism really does come from too. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, I want to personally, I want to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not, I'm not feeling so good about where I am in life, man. You, you gotta watch out for that shit. And people like that, don't associate yourself with that shit, man. You don't have especially, to. Especially what they did, they came after Grace. Yeah, yeah. Like, like she has something to do with, she, with what she, happened. That yeah, she had to wrong. disable her damn uh, uh, Twitter, account Twitter account because account. all the stupid yeah. shit. Not like, not dude, the, come on, the, man. Not, not the community. The people yeah. Have to How miserable must your life really fucking be to go out of your way to do some shit like that? Yeah. Now, I you mean, know? right now, I'm miserable because Roy just keeps beating me, so I'm about to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to hit Twitter and start <laughs> hating on people somebody. right now. <laughs> 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 and, Who's and, having and fun you know, over so You know, <laughs> you know what, why that is, right? Because there's no collision. <laughs> yeah, man, if there's a collision, then I wouldn't be able to sabotage you. Them. You know, Chris has been on top, bro. <laughs> He'll be on top of our game. game. <laughs> uh, we playing in no Chris finesse mode. You know what I'm saying? No yeah, Chris finesse yeah, mode. Yeah, not oh, our man. mode right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, god. You're right, man. You're right. With absolutely 100%. Yes, it's real, man. It's real. I don't mean you know. I'm not trying to like you know pick on people for saying that. I'm, I'm being honest that's a real thing that nobody wants to talk about you know what i'm saying like people got to get their affairs in order and recognize that you're you're really kind of projecting this negative energy onto a scenario or a certain thing um because of what's going on in your personal life how you actually feel internally you know and how attached you become to this this becomes so close to your identity it, you let this make you let the pair of jordans make you feel like somebody you know what i'm saying you didn't know that you were yeah. or you don't feel like you're somebody before you put them on you know what i'm saying yeah. like and now that somebody's picking on the jordans or the jordans are no longer the shoe to collect or whatever now you feel like an ass you know and now you gotta lash out or whatever like dude that doesn't that that no that doesn't make you man like come on man and if you out here doing that taking advantage of people like that you know, that are going through them things and not being a real person, you know what I'm saying? Um, shame on you, man. I don't fuck with that shit, you know? I don't fuck with that, but then they claim to be inclusive and not care about people and all blah, 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 whatever. You're lying. You're full of shit, you know? I'm about to check it out on somebody before Hell yeah, I'm about to go find out who's, who's having fun on, let me, let, me, let me pick a platform. Who's having fun on PlayStation and what mistake PlayStation did? I'm gonna tear it apart. Let's go dang on them, let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my.
my god. Oh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, a lot of those companies also have their own problems. Like, I was a big fan of the PS Vita, and they mm. and Sony just neglected the shit. Out oh of my god, they did. god oh, they did! Oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, man, I had to, I had I mean, to sell my sure. my my v, um, Vita because of that. Oh, such a great handheld yeah. too, though, man. And this is this is what uh, what I like about what what Google is trying to do. The problem with the Vita is okay. I know a lot of people love the the indies. It became an indie machine. Yeah, and yeah, that's where indies did grow for a while. Yeah, right. But that's people true. didn't really want the indies. They wanted the triple A games. So yeah, what what Google is probably seeing is that indie games is not gonna cut it. Smaller games is not gonna cut it. They yeah, want no, the triple A popular games. So okay, let's focus on those instead of just bringing in whatever games because that's their vision in the first place they don't want to be the nintendo switch where there's like a million games in there but only uh -oh. a certain percentage of them are worth playing so i i kind of understand that people are upset but i think it's the right approach it's they get the games that people really want and not just focusing on just you know having the first party and then smaller games coming in so you know i'm upset but not anymore because it'll benefit me in the end <laughs> absolutely there you go and i and that's I totally end. understandable you know what i'm saying again be like damn i was really looking forward to that because i was you know personally i was like damn i really wanted to see what they were going to do i did but at the end of the day, it, like you said, it's gonna benefit more in the end. Oh, hold on, hold on. Take my Man, hand there we go. Like, if they released their first party game and it didn't take off, what would everyone say? Oh, <laughs> they should have stopped this when they look at, knew that. Yeah. It, it, they look know at what they happened. Not gonna profit. Right. Look at what happened when uh, Outcasts was was uh, announced and shown. Come on, man. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. When Outcast was like, it was like, oh no, you know. It took a while for everybody really kind of like, okay, I see, I see. This is gonna be okay. I see it. Yeah, they you know? know, they know what they're doing. I know yeah. Google know what they're doing. Um, yeah. I don't know why people think that they don't. <laughs> they they are smart. They they have data on everything. Yeah. We just don't talk about it, but we know that the first party titles that they have released. Mm -hmm. They're not selling. They're not. Yeah. They they don't grab new audiences. No. So why invest in that if it's not gonna work? Right. So, and they and they see where the games there. The, you said earlier the games that they're actually getting, man. Like, uh, um, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Damn near made. Ah, uh, damn it. That's that's the, <laughs> that's the the game that associated with Stadia now. Yeah. So, yeah. The positivity it brought yeah so they know all those things and like people started it, buying well, it up in droves it's ridiculous yeah. how many sales just outside of the it. yeah but Check we know that out. first part is not gonna work yeah yeah what did david justice say when they were interviewing him and john justice about, right i'm sorry yeah john you. justice, john justice yeah. um when they were interviewing him and he said that uh um, yeah we're not going to talk about things out anymore because you know he figured that it comes back to bite him in the butt, right? Mm -hmm. So when you listen, and, and, and I watched that interview a couple of times just so I can get kind of the, the feelings of, of just to watch his body language. And I just got a lot of confidence from him. Like he was like, the way he spoke was extremely confident. Like, you know, I don't I don't see anybody else that can do what we're doing right now. With him. Okay, he said, you know, uh, Cyberpunk coming out, you see how that works. And basically, when Google sat back, Mind you now, their specs aren't at the specs of the next generation console, yet, okay? Mm -hmm. they're, they're still not at that spec. They're not at that spec, spec level yet. Okay, it will be though. The, if they keep their promise, it will be. So, to sit back and see a cloud-based platform perform nearly to the level of a PC, and they're sitting back having this interview, and he's like, yo, we're not going to talk about it, but we're going to just do it. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, there's an announcement that comes out that they're going to close down the studio 
and focus because they followed up by saying focus on third party. That kind of, like I said, it's confidence to me that they feel that once they upgrade their tech completely, they'll be able to run with the best stuff. So, yeah. so it, it, it's, it's that point where the message, and, and this is what I'm saying, guys, this is the reason why I keep running home. For people who are in the stadium community, you have voices. Because your voices are being heard, whether you want to realize that or not, they're being heard, man. Yeah. Be careful how you put your message out there. And the reason why I'm saying that is because they're watching you. They're seeing how the platform is through your eyes. Yeah. And you're the first thing they're going to look at when it comes to this platform. And you all know that when the platform first came out, it was being unjustly destroyed by a lot of these streamers who are a lot bigger than, than you know, they, they got a large following. When this kind of news comes out, man, and as I, I'm going to just say it, man, if you put yourself out there on the stadium platform, rather you want to believe it or not, it's on your shoulders, the kind of message that comes out of your mouth. So if you put out the, right, the, the wrong type of message, you're responsible for that kind of negative negative outlook on the platform you're responsible for that now and either you can correct it or act like it never happened but you're responsible for that now and if you want to take your time and, and, and pull it all together and show people just the way you're looking at it you're responsible for that too so all i'm saying is i'm the reason why i'm not a content creator is because i'm so busy on so many different projects. Hey man, you have nice uh, stuff to talk about there. I know, I, I know. You know that's why I have his ass on. I'm like, well, fuck that, you're gonna be here, <laughs> goddamn. You're the new real <laughs> Nostradamus. <if> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I got plenty of wrong choices. But, I, but, but the thing is, the reason why I'm not is because I'm so busy. But if I was a conscious creator, I would be very careful because I understand that my words do guide me, do guide me to think. Yeah, so, does, so yeah. I'm just saying, man, as, it, it, so for those content creators out there that's listening to the Sick Stream, listen to this thing. Just be careful how you how you show yourself out there because if you're to be a person that speaks about the platform or any platform, just be careful how you do it because people are watching you. Yeah. And there's enough there's enough negativity out there we understand. And it, 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 the slightest thing that comes out about Stadia that's negative, the big streamers are going to eat it up. Yeah. Yeah. When people come to you, they're gonna be looking for a balanced report. So you know, just you know, just, just remember that, man. I'm not. I don't want to, you know, put this call people out. But just the way you conduct yourself, just make sure it's balanced. And you're not feeding into the feeding frenzy that the big ones are doing just because you know you're you're either uncertain or you're, you know, I don't know what it is. But you know, just, just be careful how you conduct yourself. People are watching. They're watching. You. For sure, the y'all. Why I know, For sure. Why I know that because I have a friend. Says he sees everything on it, mm -hmm. and he's believing me off of my report. But do your own research too. Exactly. But here's the thing: you see those guys that, and that worries me. Man, I thought everything was good. I'm like, everything is good, man. Oh well, I heard. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So you end up wrecking hurting the platform. So you know, which is exactly what you don't want anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So on that note, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream. My game glitched on me, so I was like, "All right, you, you uh, let me know." Yeah. <laughs> we hit the three and a half hour mark. Steve, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Uh, oh, well, look, this is again. This is shut down. <laughs> starting to shut down stadium. It's happening. <laughs> no, look, this is. Man, I'm off the This is again. Um, this we talked about this, Demaculus. Uh, this is a, uh, just a perfect example of why it's very important for state for Google. Uh, with their teams of experts on the on the platform to focus on their third party support, you know, focus on supporting the third party partners, I should say, to be more clear. So that way they can make their games run as best as possible. You know, they need they need the help. They need the support. You know, they're already working on all these other platforms. This is a whole Linux base and everything. Come on, give us something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, that's a very important thing. Again, when these are the games that most people are going to be playing, most people are going to be buying, most people are going to be interested in. You want these experiences to be the, the they're going to be the first experience that most people ex have on your platform. You want these to be as smooth and enjoyable as possible. Exactly. Yeah. A premium yeah. experience, you know, 
Um, and then again, when people that are coming in looking for these third party games experience that just to wrap it all up and they get a great, fun, enjoyable experience at a very low cost, at an easy, uh, a, a very low uh, barrier of entry, then they'll start really considering taking what you have to offer in the game in way of gameplay experiences serious, you know, and they'll start talking about it and they'll start sharing it with their friends. They'll say, man, you know, this one platform, it, 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 all the game playing called you on this, man, this is great, but that, they're announcing a game. Have you heard of it, man? Oh, it looks good. You know, I've been playing on it for a while. This, this is a great platform. I want to check that out. You know what I'm saying? So yep. that's, that's where it goes. And then it'll be a shared, um, they'll share knowledge as well between those, uh, with the relationships they have with these developers. Since they have all this knowledge, this wealth of knowledge on how to develop games, Google will be learning internally how to better develop a game. You know what I'm saying? And what people are looking for with the data, you know, with the, with the knowledge they're getting from, again, the developers and um, building on their own platform. So they have a better chance of making a much more enjoyable and a successful IP when it's time to come out, when they actually take it seriously, you know? Yeah. So I hope you guys, uh, the viewers, you guys enjoyed this. You know, I had a great time. You know, we, we, we went through all of the, con I think we, we touched everything, you know, here. And I appreciate everybody's input. I think, again, like Max just said, it's, it's all valid, you know what I mean? And um, I, I, again, one thing to keep in mind, the viewers, is that the entire time we were talking about all this, we were having a great time playing on Stadia. You know what I'm saying? Because it's about, it's about having get beat by Roy for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's about having fun. Look, look, look. If he comes to the night, the night raid, he's still gonna kick my ass in the drifting. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be able to focus a bit more. He, he gonna kick my ass. I ain't gonna lie. I I, I I suck at drifting. But we're gonna be able to focus a little bit more on the racing because that's what we do more of the intense driving there. And we'll, you know, of course, we'll still do some casual talking then. But uh, like I said, that's what it's all about. It's about having fun. It's about enjoying, kicking it with the people that you make uh, uh, bonds with. You know, made friends with even. You know. And um, just having a good time, keeping it gaming. Like I say, every time I end my streams, you know, keep it gaming. You know what I'm saying? If you're not doing that, you've lost focus. You've lost sight of why you're even here. It's not about being political. It's not about being the authority on all this other stuff, all these titles people try. It's about having a good time. This is gaming. You know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity again for you to be a child at heart. You know, if you're a gamer, I don't give a damn if you're playing The Last of Us Parts Without Blood, you're still playing something that kids play. It's a game. You know what I'm saying? Don't take yourself too seriously. Have a good yeah. time, enjoy yourself, and don't get so emotionally invested and attached and feel personally attacked when something doesn't look like it's going your way or when somebody has something negative to say about it. Man, that's just their negative opinion. They're just, they got stuff going on. Just don't even worry about them. Brush them off, you know what I'm saying? Let it roll off your back like a water off a duck. You know what I mean? And build your own opinion. There you go. Exactly. Don't just you know, uh, trust what you hear. Yeah, don't just trust here. Yeah, yeah, and, and don't trust we don't just don't trust everything we said. Go do the research. Go read it. You know what I'm saying? Go read it. Use your brain. You've been blessed with an amazing, incredible, beautiful mind. Use it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these other people play you into not using it and getting all tied up and negative. No, 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 no. Have a good time. And like I say all the time. Until next time, you guys keep it gaming. It's your man Six Four. Appreciate all you all right. PJs, for be, PFGs for being here. I see you guys <laughs> at 7 p.m. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Peace out, man. And it's going down. Much love. All right, y'all. Right, Peace. Yeah. Peace. 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 Hey, man. Get on the mad tournament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to get on the mad tournament. I got a game. Already. Hopefully I, hopefully, I don't lose this one. I lost. <laughs> <first>. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good Already, brother. <laughs>